Hey everybody, I'm Steph Hodge. I'm Captain Michael. Today. Captain Michael today reporting for duty and we're going to take a look at Far Away. Now we literally just finished the tutorial so we're ready to jump right in mission one. And we did not die on hey, the tutorial. We so, didn't hey, die on the tutorial. Success. <laughs> and there's a bunch of missions in this box and it's going to be quite difficult because we already did the setup for it and it looks hard already. <laughs> so we are basically going out uh, for the, it's actually strangely enough, the Federation. Um, and uh, they want us to go out and explore strange new worlds and report on all of the life that we find. Um, unfortunately, they left out important things like a radio. Radios. <laughs> Landing gear, so we now have a crash site instead of a landing site. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have to repair our ship to <laughs> even get home. Uh, and uh, what else? Uh, they they didn't give us just basic things. Yeah. Because like basically... Like food. We have to figure out how to feed ourselves. Yeah. So they're <laughs> cheap and we're expendable. Yes, basically. That's it. That's basically it. And since this is new technology going across the galaxy... Uh, they can only, they only have room for two of us yeah. and we can only realistically communicate about what we want to do when we're in the same hex. So that's, that's sort of right. So we, we're not really supposed to communicate. I'm not exactly good at being quiet, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I want you to point out how much you enjoyed the rule book. Oh, I love the rule book. So, uh, the rule book has several, uh, sections in it, especially with like how cheap the Federation is. So it's like. This is the back of the rule book. <laughs> it says the Federation Alliance cares. You'll be fine. fine. And so they have acronyms for everything. 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 Everything has an acronym. For example. They, for ha example. they have an appendix of the acronyms at the back. <laughs> so uh, this is a hex or heuristically explorable xenoterrain. <laughs> so... Uh, this is a deterministic interaction evaluator, or die. A die. <laughs> so uh, for fine, they actually have an acronym for fine, um, but I had my own acronym for this one: fracked in numerous environments. Um, <laughs> but their definition of fine is what you need to do in order to survive. Right. They say forage or right. farm for food to eat. Interrupt socially with your partner. Never let the crash site get destroyed. Why is this happening? And enjoy not being killed by Sorry. creatures. So, F-I-N-E. Um, so, anyway, the manual is... Really good. Actually, a joy to read. It was funny. So, really, really enjoyed the manual. I was trying to see the comments, because I can't really see them from here, but maybe you have better eyesight than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the comments... Well, I mean, it would it, you'd be able to do it as long as you turn the volume down. I turned it off. I turned so. the volume down on my phone. I was just, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, I, uh, uh, so they, they're saying the feed is choppy, so aw. we'll have to see um, if it's choppy for anyone else. Oh, well, it doesn't. Choppy. It doesn't look choppy on my mobile phone. Oh, so okay. So if it doesn't look choppy on your mobile phone. Let's just go with it. And go with it for now. And hopefully it will get better for you as well. Yep, and it seems fine to Sprout Girl. So Okay, cool. Should be good. Well, thank you guys for joining in. Absolutely. Um, this is a two-player cooperative game. Only two-player. Only two-player. Well, that's not exactly sort true. Sort of. <laughs> they say when you have a third player, uh, and they sort of make it uh, sound like if you have uh, life forms that are omnisciently present... <laughs> Considering there's no possible way we could have more than two explorers because the craft seats two explorers. No, they say when you have a third player, they take control of the creatures. So we might ask you guys how to control the creatures on the map. Some of them are herbivores. Some of them are carnivores. <laughs> so they might try to eat us. Yeah, they well, might come after us. They might come after us. We're, so, we're only a size two and some of the animals go up to a size four. And we happen to start with one on the map. So we'll see how that goes. A carnivore. <laughs> Of size four. Oh, no. That's really <laughs> I didn't bad. really look at it too detailed. But let's jump into the map. <clears throat> um, Excuse me. You probably want to get that out of the view. Ta-da. Ta-da. Out of the way. Just on the table. Over there. <laughs> All right. This is All our right. little, like, small world that we know so far. So we crash-landed right here. 
And these are the hexes that it's surrounded. So and all we've got these our two animals, little spacesuits right here in the same hex. So we can communicate at this time. If oh. we're if we're not in the same hex, we can't communicate. But again, I'm pretty loud, so we can explain what's going on. Yeah, I'll explain we just what's can't going give on. advice to each other. Right. <clears throat> so I can't ask for advice. So do you want to explain a little setup? What happened here? Absolutely. So we crash land on a hex, and we're in the forest. We got a couple of swamps around us. Uh, we have uh, what is this called? Um, the dunes or the canyons canyons that's what i was looking for we've got the deserts which are these purple ones here and we've got the tundra um every time we explore a hex we're going to roll this exploration die and we're either going to put one of these fine resource cubes or a landmark uh we might have an anomaly you can sort of move some of these close to you guys. well it's hard to see oh uh, yeah the so, text is so much clear. the text is really hard to see on, on yeah we'll read these. we'll read them to you but um so and then we've got we've got two of these wandering strength one monsters you can see the monsters over here on, on the monsters in front of me um we've got two wandering monsters we have no den creatures which is good den creatures are are fiercely uh protective of their own den the wandering monsters basically just wander around and try to protect the biome that they like best. Right. So we've got a, uh, a Sagita Avon, uh, which is a little strength one creature. We have two of them on the board. Basically, all it has is a picture of the critter and a number one in the corner. And it tells you a type it is, wandering or den creature. Correct. And then we have this great big four creature. Oh my goodness. A Dominus Solus. It also <gasps> eats meat and is just protective of... Two hexes around itself. So all the cards tell us what it does, what it likes, the what um, the area in which it covers. It tells us all these different things with icons. Uh, I can't. It's just so yeah, bright. Got a really bad it, glare. Honey. Yeah. Just maybe. Yeah. There we go. Holding it this way seems to help. It tells the biome that it likes and how far away it does it goes and whether it eats meat or plants. Whether it's a solo uh, creature or whether it likes to be in a pack. Um, whether it's opportunistic or defensive or aggressive. So, And we'll go over all that when we have to deal with them. And they, they do their own sorts of movements and they fight each other. They fight us. They fight whomever. If they fight us, there's a chance to make it, him our friends. <laughs> yeah, we can uh, domesticate. If yeah. we can domesticate that Domino Solis... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be so good. That'd be great. And so then he can actually, uh, we can ride him. Yeah, he could be our riding pal. Yeah, absolutely. We can make him work <laughs> for us and dig for dig for minerals, uh, things like that. So our mission right now is to build the landing pad. Is to build the landing pad. The landing pad takes two bioplastics. Those are those little blue cubes. We have no cubes. We have on the no board cubes right on the board. Sadly, who we did this setup? Oh, uh, that would be this guy. Um, <laughs> We have two ruins. This one uh, we can use an action to de to destroy it for two artifact cards. Artifact cards are really cool really gear. really great. And this one is destroyed for one artifact card. Both of them have passive abilities. If we build a building there, like that landing pad, we might want to. Yeah, it's got plus two strength, so that's really good in case we have any uh, critters that are destructive and can tear up buildings. Right. The doma. Neither of these monsters are but some of them can be. Uh, we've got an orb grotto over here. Orbs are good to stun monsters uh, for a round. Uh, we can destroy this landmark and get two orbs, That's which are bad. the little gray cubes over here. Okay. And then we have the, the little critters and our crash site. We can repair the crash site if we spend a bioplastic, a mineral, which we is yellow, and a fuel, which is... Purple. Which is purple, that's right. We have these opportunities to build some buildings over here, so that might get us fuel too. Um, we don't know if our mission is to complete is to actually repair that yet. That we, is that is not our goal at this time. Not at this time. However, it might be the later. tutorial. The tutorial we don't have to fix the crash site. Right. But the rules say that we will have to fix the crash site each time. Oh my so, goodness! So it, we do have to. At do some it. point, so we at will some have point to we will have to complete that crash. All right. Site. So we have we have this mission here that says build the landing pad we also have three of these contingencies build the xenobiology lab which will give us access to the xenobiology lab gear 
Hmm. We'll have build the computing core, which will give us access to the computer core gear, neither of which we've done before. Yeah, we don't know anything about this. We don't know anything <laughs> about this. And so. we've got another contingency mission that says a creature has reached the landing pad. So that we that, don't know if that's we probably good or don't bad. want that to happen. Why would we want him to go rumming around our landing pad? That's true. So I don't know if we. I don't think we want that to happen. Want to do it? It's, I mean, we're gonna have to build a landing pad. So right, and we've already got creatures running around. I know. Here. We just have to hope that doesn't interfere. Correct. But we're so, gonna find out how a round goes, uh, or what what is a round? You might ask, what is a round? What is a round? According to the manual, a round. Uh, is a routine operational unit notation designation. <laughs> so, um, and remember, obviously, the Federation Alliance cares. Um, <laughs> you'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. You'll be fine. Um, the round sequence. First, the explorers will take three actions, one at a time, back and forth. Three actions. Then, any drones that we have built are gonna move. We don't have any drones yet, so no. that's fine. Yep, we don't have to worry about that. Then, the creatures will move. Yep. First, the den creatures, and then the wandering creatures. It basically from left goes to right. in this order here. Yeah, left to right. Like that. So, they will move, and then they will take an action. Right. Uh, then, we will spawn new creatures. No. We will roll a die. So, the, the little archway symbol there means den creature. The little... Uh, what is that? An end, I guess. A little snake wandering. is a wandering creature or nothing. It could be a blank face. There will also be another die that you roll that will have a number from one to four that will tell us which one of these we put out. Or an asterisk. Based on the rules, yes, yeah, yeah, or an asterisk. Based on the rules that are in the rule book and sort of have to refer back to it from time to time. Um, so two, uh, two of those could pop out. Uh, after we do that, let's hope not. Then we're going to advance time, in which we gain a hunger and a loneliness. A loneliness. If we aren't on the same tile, right? Right. We, well, if we're on the same tile, then we can socialize as a free action. Well, I'm going to talk about actions in a minute. However, uh, whenever you socialize, you get rid of all your loneliness. All of it goes. Now we can. Uh, we have room for four hunger tokens and four loneliness tokens. What happens if we reach a fifth token? We're going to die. We're going to die. And then we lose. <laughs> or have space madness if we get too lonely. And then we lose. Instant, lo instant loss. And we don't record anything because why would we record failure? No, we don't record <laughs> failures. So they've got this cool section in the mission booklet. If you win a mission, you're going to get Federation credits that we can buy all sorts of cool things for future missions. But if there's failure, we don't record anything in the Explorer records. <laughs> Because they don't have room for failure. Nah. So we're and we're expendable, but we'll be fine. Well, we will be fine. Maybe. I mean, if we get a second injury, we're also dead. So correct. We don't have. We haven't seen injuries. We didn't get injured so, in the tutorials. So. Five loneliness, we die. Five, five hunger, hunger, we, we die. die. Two injuries, we die. Yeah. It seems they like... say so. Avoid trying to uh, try to avoid taking your first injury. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. So helpful those rules. <laughs> The Federation loves us. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so, uh, the actions we can take, we can, well, we can actually, since we've already set everything up, we can start thinking about the actions that we want to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our standard actions, which cost one action each, mm -hmm. we can move. Right. It's pretty much what you think it would be, except we could move as many as we want in a, in straight, a straight line. straight line. And we, can, we only have to stop when we reach an so unexplored could, like, hex go... or we reach a monster. Oh. Yeah, we've got monsters all around this, this bottom side. But this little baby one. He, the, these are both babies. They only have a... It, if they have a size of four, they can take four damage. Yeah. If they have a size of one, they can take one damage. It's it's a one it's and a, a one. one and a four. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we can use... We could use one of these yeah. uh, ruins. That's what I think we should do, by the way. Well, we'd have to move and get there. Right. Uh, or we can use one of our gear cards if we've managed to get one. Mm. We can build, assuming we have the right cubes. Or uh, gear card to help us build. <laughs> that's right. We did that on the tutorial. That yeah, was really that good. That was really helpful. <laughs> you can fight, which gives one damage to a creature in your hex. Yeah. But it also causes you one hunger. Oh, yeah. It makes us hungry. I don't know why. Because it, it expends calories to fight. Eh, yeah. Probably. Or you can scare. You can scare a monster 
uh, I believe one or two hexes away, but that will also give you one or two loneliness. <laughs> All you have to do is go boo, <laughs> and the and the critter gets real scared and runs off. So, uh, and it makes you lonely because Aww. even if he was a big Dominosaurus who was going to eat your face <laughs> off, somehow it makes you lonely. I don't. I don't know why. So I'm scared. <laughs> there are also some free actions we can do. Like we said, we can socialize. We can consume. Like if we have plants or uh, meat in our inventory, uh, we can eat a plant to restore one health. Uh, no, one hunger. We can eat a meat to remove all, all of, of our, our hunger. hunger. So if if let's say this guy kills that guy, he leaves a food behind. He'll right? leave a food behind. Yep. So we can go maybe pick that up later and get it and eat it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah we we normally uh we steph is gonna make a schedule for these uh for these uh games but we sort of did this on the spur of the moment sunday yeah. afternoon uh, tends to be our spur of the moment day it's like hey do you want to stream this yeah. yeah let's stream it for now i'm just we're planning on doing um wednesdays for sure and i have that planned out titanic on wednesday this wednesday and i do my steph's hodgepodge of gaming on friday where i talk about all the games i played but, like, we played the tutorial, and we're like, oh, yeah, we could stream that. We could stream We it. were going to go into the first mission and just play it, but I'm like, oh, we could just set up a stream and do it. That's cool. right. Cool. <laughs> so, here we are. Occasionally, we're <laughs> going to get little impromptu things. And, yeah. you know, people who watch it live can watch it live, or if you want to catch it on the flip side, or yeah. when you post it both on your blog and on YouTube, then they can watch it there. Right, because I, I want to do the review for Wednesday, and I'll have this video to post in the review. Absolutely. Uh, other free actions we can trade freely trade. Yeah, if um, we're in the same hex, we can pick up a cube in our hex. We can drop a cube in our hex. So uh, and that makes it so you can move into a hex, pick up that meat cube, eat that meat cube, and then <laughs> on the next turn run away from that Dominosaurus before it eats our face off. Yeah, because that's going to be very important. We definitely <laughs> don't want to upset him. No, he's <laughs> he's gonna. He's, he's going to injure us, I have a feeling. He's much bigger than we are. Or, unless we get lucky, if he attacks us and we happen to roll the tame symbol. and uh, he's Oh, that would, that would be so friend. good. That would <laughs> be so good. That's my hope. <laughs> Fortunately, if he attacks, he only does one damage. All right. Even if he's huge. So I that know, but, is probably But we good. only have a limit of one. And I don't even know if we can cure ourselves. Yeah, well. Or I guess we'll find out if I we guess, get injured. I guess we'll find out. This may be a short mission. <laughs> I can't. And we won't record it. <laughs> oh, we're recording it. But no, it, I mean in the Federation's in, in logs. Our, in our log book, sure. <laughs> it will just be for everybody else to see all of our failures. Right. And I'll talk about the creature actions here in a second, but let's go ahead and take our actions. I like the ruins. I want to go first. <laughs> all right, you can go first. No, you can go first. All right. Uh, okay. I think we should ask no. A-L-E-X-A. No. Because she always chooses me. No, I know. I want to go here. This place next. That's the ruins. To, yeah, there's another one. You go there. Oh, but your ruins is much. better. Mine is better because it will grant me two artifact cards. Correct. Well, I want to get away from uh, Dominus Solis, so you know what? I'm going to show an example of exploring that. Oh, hex. you're exploring. Oh, I'm going to no, go ahead and explore the. Hex. You know what's going to happen? I'd rather explore it now when I've got two more actions to run away. That's probably true. So. Good luck. Get I will resources. Reveal one of these heuristically explorable Xeno terrains. <laughs> and discover. Wow. All the purple. It's really we've weird. Got all the purple today. Then we will roll the exploration die. It's an it anomaly. Anomaly. Anomalies can be good or bad. Both of these ruins are anomalies, but we can also have dens. Dens have critters. Critters <laughs> might want to eat our faces. We don't want to get dens. Oh, uh, hey, it's hey, a den. It's a den. It's a level. It's a. It goes in. This it's the space. number two den. So draw a den creature. All right. Here, we have a Voho Rene. Vomo. Uh, oh, it is a Vomo. Vomo. It's an expansionist. It turns existing dwellings into dens by spraying them with noxious <laughs> adhesive goo. <laughs> Ew. That's real. That sounds really disgusting. <laughs> that sounds gross. So claim it requires four of the Vomo to be in the in the same area. It converts one building or landmark <gasps> into a Vomo den. That's bad. Especially if we build really close. That would be really bad. Well, good thing you went way over there in nowhere land. Well, 
its uh, exist its its area is three away from its den. So basically, everything we can oh, see on the map, everything we see on the map is, and in, most of the things we can't see within on the map. range. But maybe we work our way this way then. Just let him live. Over well, there. they have a strength of one. Oh, maybe we could kill well, them. They need four. I can't, well, you know what? We shouldn't talk about. Oh, we're this. not in the right. We're area not in to the. Talk. We're not in the same. Uh. Shh, don't say anything, Steph. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get the critter tokens out. We have these Plano boxes. There's so many critters, uh, so we'll see how that goes in the future. If we want to keep the the Plano boxes, um, all right. So that was you. I'll let you find them. I am gonna do this once. I'm going to destroy that. We need a little exploit. Uh, oh yeah, he shows up. Oh. He, yeah, he does show up automatically. So I'm going to put a little thing on there. And I get two artifacts. I, did you shuffle the artifact deck? I did shuffle the artifact deck. All right, I'll believe you, even though I want the one. That oh, actually, works. I did not shuffle the artifact deck. I did not. I shuffled the anomaly deck. Oh, I shuffled the anomaly deck. Well, then it was double shuffled. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, I need two of those cards. Make them good. One. It says... Two. So uh, this is not an action I do right now. It's an it's on its own action. It says destroy a resource landmark to produce four cubes of the appropriate type. Nice. I wonder if that means the the orb. Uh, it says resource landmark. Yeah, that would be that. These are resource landmarks, mm. and I think that's probably a lot better than an orb grotto. Well, yeah, because that you destroy it for two. For two so, orbs. That gives four what? Four of any cube. No, it says of that appropriate of type. Of that type. Oh, well then we'll get four orb cube. And then four. this one says warp bean. Next five move actions are treated as free actions. The next five. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right, cool. I get to move a lot for free if so, I want to use that. But that says once. It says once. Next five move actions are treated as free. So I guess I just put dots on them as I... Right. But once... In the rule book says it means use and right. use as an action so you think, it's, I, think I can it, just move up to five spaces I think, for free no I, I i think what it should be i think it should i think it is meant to be passive i think so too it's meant and, to be a passive piece of gear not a once activate piece of gear yeah and then we that, will clarify I, that from the designers but later yeah otherwise that doesn't make much sense because you use it once and then it's not like you move five times all of a sudden it just says the next five move actions are treated yeah. as free actions. I assume I just put little explanation. Uh, I think so too. So if I use it once, I you, use it. I use it exactly. I like that. You use not, it five times that's passively. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping for resources so I could build the the um, what is it? Landing landing pad. pad. Yeah, because we need to get two plastics. I know. And in order to make a bioplastic refinery, so we can make those, we would need two plants. We, we also don't, don't have, have any plants. plants. We have no resources, so you're going to need to... To make a plant farm, we need a mineral. We also have no minerals, so... Right. <laughs> and to make a mineral quarry, we have to have two bioplastics. Right. You see this vicious uh, circle that we have here? Yeah. <laughs> we have nothing. We have nothing. I have a critter in my space, and actually, uh, I am going to remove a critter in my space with my action number two. I am going to fight him. Do one damage to him, which will make me one notch hungrier. Okay. The critter type still remains. Yeah, the den still stays and the there. And de the den remains, but I think we need to keep those under control. What happens when we kill a creature? Meat. We get a meat token. I'm going to pick that meat token up because that's going to help my hunger. He doesn't have to eat it right now. As long as I can carry it, I might as well carry it. Yeah, we have a cargo hold of three, right. so might as well. Right. So now it's my basically turn. two hands in a backpack. Is a, basically what we have. I might as well move. So I this is move, your third action. I can move for free, right? Uh, you can. Oh no, my no. action would be to play this card for this turn, and then my next, starting my next turn. Then your next five move actions. Would I would. Be I would say if that's how it, you want to do it, then that's, that's what we'll I think do. That's fair. Until we get clarification. That's what we'll do. And so I can have five tokens on that, basically, for free. And that was well, you know my, that was my turn. Put those on and take them off as you use them. And once it's consumed, it's done. All right. There are different color explanations. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Okay. So, so that's your third. Yeah. All right. So they warn you in the fair. rules 
that you probably don't want to go off exploring on your third action mm. because very bad things could possibly happen. Who listens to happen. the rules? Who listens to... No, I, I, <laughs> in this case, it's probably not a bad plan well, to listen to the rules. You don't rules. want number four coming up. The men... Domina? Number four? So, yeah. No, yeah. Actually, he's number two. And that he's number would actually, two, but that he's would actually make me go number four. two. So. Oh, my goodness. Go. I'm glad I wore my brown space pants. Oh. So. <laughs> and, <laughs> You're not supposed to be talking. <laughs> you don't hear me. You don't hear anything in space. Uh, Well, I'm not going to go to the Orb Grotto because you probably plan on going to the Orb Grotto. You know what? You only live once. Right. So I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore this canyon. Uh, I can't believe you went there. Why? Because you're going to roll something horrible. You don't know. I don't. Hey, that's I not bad. I am not going to roll something horrible. That I'm was going fantastic. To roll. He rolled a diamond with a cross in it, which means we put out a landmark you for that what? type. You know what? That You could actually go there. Oh, I can't say. I'm done. I can't say I'm what done, she could do. I'm done, though. I have no more actions, right? We're not in the same hex. So, or, or can I do this? Would you say I can move? The next five move actions are free actions. If you had wanted to... Can I, though? If, if I'm right out now, of actions? No. Okay. You need to actually be able to take a turn. All right. Well, it's, but on it's your free. on your turn, you could do as many free actions okay. of move as you want. All I right. Would think. So next time, probably. Next time. Now we move the animals. Now we move the animals in order. In so order. first, this well, dude. the the Vomo doesn't exist. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone. So then the we... Sagitta, uh, it says that they are opportunistic. So if consult you are the consult the cheat sheet. Yeah, if you aren't sure, you can cheat. <laughs> and cheat means... What does cheat mean? Oh, it's not on the acronyms? Why? Oh. The Creature Habit Easy Access Table. The cre- <laughs> we'll say it one more time. Cheat. Creature Habit Easy Access Table. All right. Or <laughs> cheat. <laughs> or cheat. <laughs> An opportunistic creature will fight if the creature eats meat. It does. And the prey is injured, alone, or smaller, but it will not eat itself, its own type. It's not cannibalistic. <laughs> it will scare a creature if the other creature is bigger, but alone. Uh, and that is true in this case. It will consume if there's food. It will run if they're threatened. I mean, it happens all the time. If I see a bug, I'm really scared. And even though I'm bigger, I'm still scared. Right. So, <laughs> I think what will happen in this, this case. This looks like a bug to me. I think what will happen in this case... Yeah, what happens? Is this, this guy is going to move over here and scare... The big dude. Scare the big dude. The rhinoceros. Or... Yeah, and he doesn't care where he is. He's just going to scare away. Uh, well, this is the question. Do we, want him, do we want him to scare him towards us or away from us? I don't know if he want. We don't want him to come towards us, right? No, I don't, I don't think we want him to come towards us. But um, we want to move him away from everything else. Right. So we could have him... Scared towards here, and then this guy say, hey, you know what? I'm going to scare you even farther away. Okay. All right, the Dominus Solus gets to go. And he's a meat eater that is aggressive. Consulting the cheat, an aggressive will fight if possible. And it doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even care if the other creature is aggressive and bigger. One thing that the, that the rules suggest is that a recently scared creature... Will not will usually not fight unless there is an overwhelming advantage. You have this Dominus Solus with a four and a Sagitta with a one. I would say that's, that's overwhelming. overwhelming. Yeah, I would agree. So he says, "What the heck?" He's gonna go here. He's gonna smash this little critter and leave a meat cube behind. And that little Sagitta. That, make, that makes sense. Uh, well, when the Sagitta moves, it can glide. It can move one hex in addition to its normal move. Mm. So if it ever has to move two, it can move two. All right. So, um, but yeah, it wants to protect all of the all of the swamp areas that it's around. So, yeah. Uh, it's sort of territorial of those things. Right. And the cards say all this uh, with little iconography on the bottom. Yeah. Um, so everything is not exact. The rules say to sort of... Um, don't think too hard into it, but instead you should role play 
or <laughs> realistically and objectively log events performed logically by animals and yourself. Role play. Role play. <laughs> they put a lot of thought into this rule book. I just got to say. It's good. It's good. All right. So the creatures have all acted. Uh, well, we didn't have any drones. So now we're going to spawn. We're going to spawn Oh, here's critters. where we roll these dice. I get a wandering one. It's another Sagitta Avon. Oh. And it's going to go next to one of us. Uh-oh. And you have a new wandering Unknown. monster. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did we find at this wandering we creature? We found a crab. Yeah, he'll eat anything. A Metellum Aprum. Burrows to preserve warmth, prefers rocky areas, and the electrical systems of Federation buildings. He has a special power to burrow. One damage to building in hex. Plus Yay. one hunger to fight. So when we fight him, it takes even more because we're trying to break through that. We're crab finding shell. all the bad guys right now. Oh, that's a really bad one. That's really bad. So let's put the Sagitta Avon. Let's put him next to me since I found him. You know what? I'm going to put him right there. Maybe we den. can put this guy, this new guy right here. So, so maybe we have to this put him guy next will... to you. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe that guy will take him on instead of taking me on. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get the uh, crab critters out of the box crab yeah he does look like a crab lobster thing boom boom and you say let's put it, we're gonna put him by the oh put him by the crash site well he's plus one well, damage to buildings in hex that's true so maybe here maybe there ah but he's so far away from the other guy yep. now so uh, yeah, this is the first creature that we've had that does damage. Mm. Destructive creatures will damage Federation buildings through burrowing. Their their fight action will deal a damage. Okay. Including the crash site. So, probably... Yeah, we don't want to ruin the crash site. Don't want to ruin the crash Otherwise, site. Otherwise, we'll lose. That would be bad. Ugh. All right. So, that was uh, the spawn. Now we're going to advance time. We gain a hunger and a loneliness. We're lonely. And then we're going to do a mission check. Have we finished our mission? No. No. All right. Next round. Um, Three actions. I can go for free to where you are. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm going to do that. Hey, we can talk now. Hey, we can talk for real. You reals. know what? Hey, we, we're going to cure our loneliness. Yeah, we're going to cure the loneliness Because we like to free. talk. Three. <laughs> <laughs> we really like to talk. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Grabbing a resource so we can build this plant farm so we can get this bioplastic refinery that seems pretty good that's a lot of buildings i know can but do it. but you know what i mean like we might not find the resources we need we can the question is do we want to use your what is that called destroy a resource landmark to produce four we would produce Four minerals all at once. Oh, that would be good. We don't know what we we don't know if we need minerals right now. But the the truth is, we may never come back to this spot anyway. That is true. And it might be more useful than doing orbs. I don't even know what an orb is. An orb will stun all creatures in your hex and in adjacent hexes. And why is that good? Because they won't activate on during the creature phase. Yeah, all right. That could be one good. Time. It's a one time. During the next, creature I'm not phase. sure we need four of those. We need to focus Agreed. on getting other resources. Agreed. Okay, I can do that. So um, for my real action. Your real action. I'll use this card. Okay. That will destroy this. Right. And then it drops four of those down. Right. Correct. Maybe I'll take two. You take two. Whatever you want. All right. You can trade on your turn. Now, cards that are used go to the B-O-X. Do you want me to explore? Because I have free movement I can do. You don't want to know what the B-O-X is? What's the B-O-X? The box is beyond operational exploration. Right, it's beyond, it's beyond our... <laughs> yes. It's outside. So they go back to the box. Mm. Or B-O-X. You... Um, what did, did you finish? Is that all you're going to do? Well, I could I could either build the plant farm. Oh no, it has to be on grass. I mean trees. We it don't have It has to be trees. on. Yeah, we do. It's at the crash site, but we cannot build on top of on other top things. of that other building. So let me do a free move. How about a free move? That'd be great. Free move. I'm gonna do right here, away from the animals. Away from. Until I roll an animal right now. Well, that's. Oh man, all the purple. Desert. There's only six purple. 
All right. Hey, it's a resource. We it's get a, fuel. You know what? Is that fuel? That is uh, that is purple, and purple is fuel. You're That's right. That's blue. On your black table, I cannot see. I got it. Any of the colors? Because I'm technically here now. You are technically there. Zoop. You're not technically there. You actually are there. Wow. And we need fuel for various things, but we don't. We don't have it. We don't have to do it yet. If, you know I, what? if I get if a blue, more, I could go do. That. You can go fix the <laughs> crash lights up. The, the, cr the crash lights on. I need a blue, a, a purple, and a yellow. Cool. And I have two yellow and uh, purple. You know so. what? You could take a free move. Do you want me to do another one? I could. If you at least it will show us where to go. Where here? Here. Next to you? Wherever. Next to you. Oh, I can't, because I can't say where to go. Well, we could have talked about it. Could have. Didn't. But you left. <laughs> I left. All right. Oh. Tundra. Oh, my God. Scary, scary. It's anomaly. Anomaly. It's ruins. Once, you can destroy it for two resource cubes, or... If it's, uh, it also gives a passive ability, even after you destroy it, to give plus two durability to buildings in the hex. Mm. And you know what? I'll, I'll go one more time. Right there. Unless we've done that wrong. I'm going to go ahead and look while you do that. I've done what wrong? One wrong. My card? No, the, the passive ability. Continue. I'm just going to look in the rule book. Oh, like if we destroyed it, does it remain Does there? it really exist? Or whether, or whether the rule book meant you can destroy it, but then you don't get the passive Hey, ability trees. Hey, look. Roll your discovery. All right. Guy. No den. No den. No den. Hey, resource. I was going to say, you're going to jinx that thing. I know. I jinxed it, it right? <laughs> no, but that's you didn't. really good. I know what you're doing on your turn. At least I think I do. I think I can. So what I can do now is... I'm going to, I'm going to pick these up. Oh, technically I'm here. No, not technically. You actually are there. I said technically. So I am going to move on my turn. Yeah. But it's not for, f no, I don't need to go there because you are there. Right. You're going to go I ahead and build anyway. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, just so you know, the ground can hold any number of resources. Yeah, the ground, <laughs> yeah. We, we can hold, we can hold three resources and the rule book is explicit in saying that the ground can hold an infinite number of resources. <laughs> it's good that they said that because people sometimes, want to know these sometimes, things. Sometimes uh, tiles might only hold four resources, That's for right. example. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, destroy for any two resource cubes. You know what? I haven't, fin I haven't looked at that rule yet, um, but I'm going to go ahead and move there in preparation to destroy it. Oh, yeah, because it takes you actions to move. It takes me actions. <laughs> it's about to take you actions to move, little no. Miss Flash. No! <laughs> um, all right, so on my turn, I can just, I can build the plant grove. Now, the question is, does it destroy the plant that's already there? Or does the plant... No, it, the, the ground holds an infinite number of resources. I know, but, it, but is it now a plant instead of a ground? No. So you're making a plant farm, and it produ it can produce a plant, but you could just drop the plant there if you wanted and to. And now I have this. You because can take that, I, I, I made space. I got rid of that mineral to gain that. So that was my action. I built the plant farm. Correct. I still haven't been able to find the ruins in here. Oh, there is a an end of the rules. Uh, you mean an index? An index. I'm ah. actually looking there and not finding it. Hmm. I think I remember seeing something that says. I thought once you use it, then the passive goes into effect. The passive does. That's that's what I'm thinking. I think that's what it was. And you know what? If we win, we'll just put an asterisk next to it. If that's not how we're supposed to do it. So I am going to destroy it for two blue resource cubes. Oh, you're going to leave those on the ground? Yeah, just drop them here. Because don't we need to make a landing pad, right? Yeah. And what better place than these ruins? Seems like a good place. That seems like a good plan. And that was my second action. Oh, I still have an action. And I will continue to look um, through the rules for that. 
I could get, I could get, I could produce a plant. I think I want to do that. So I'm going to just produce a plant, but I'm going to lose. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll lose the yellow for now. For you, now. You could eat. I don't. No, I can't. I eat. can't say anything. I I could eat, but I need the green to do this bioplasty refinery. So if you don't mind getting me a green. Your plant. My plant. Thank you. All right. That was my third action. That was your third action. Hmm. Uh, but I'm gonna. I will spend my action to create the landing pad. Huzzah! Yay! We have built the landing pad. It says, it's as a passive ability, it protects resource cubes on the hex from creatures. Ah. So it's basically like a little warehouse. It's, it's, like, it's like a landing pad. <laughs> it is a landing pad. It's where you so, go. hey, you know what? Those are protected. Are protected. And this has a strength of five. Plus, Plus two, two from the ruins. So that's nice. That's cool. What was this? That's just, I paid it. Oh, you paid it. It's like just sitting there. Yep. All right, so I, we have created the landing pad. What sure. we'll do is we'll turn over this mission and read. So this, we don't have radios, but it does give an incoming transmission to both of us so that we can hear it. We just can't talk to each other, which is ridiculous. Right. But that's what it that's what it does. Congratulations on establishing a basic landing site for future operations. Mm. We trust you will preserve the site until you need to return home, as contingency plans are expensive. Please continue operations by constructing one of the standard Federation base facilities. So, mission one point two says build the Xenobiology Lab or the computing core. We could do both. But we only have to do one. We only have to do one. Um, they they are these cards here. So the Xenobiology Lab takes two gonna... plants and a plastic. Uh -huh. The Computing Core takes two minerals and a plastic. Okay. So that's nice. The Computing Core passive ability improved consume action. Remove all damage from a building with one mineral. Oh, that's good. That's the Xenobiology good. Lab has an improved consume action. Remove all hunger with one meat. Especially since we have some critters out there that like to damage our stuff. Exactly. So maybe we go for the Xeno. I mean the computing core. But again, like you said, we could do both. And the next mission might be to complete the other one. We don't know. Oh, you know what? Meat only removes all hunger if you have a xenobiology lab. Oh, so we played the tutorial wrong. Yes, we did. So I we, did. We I totally lost the tutorial. <laughs> well, it probably just would have just taken us longer. Yes. So, asterisk. Asterisk on the tutorial. Yeah, we need Jeff's asterisk right here. So. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Everybody knows what I'm... I know Dan knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, this one will not be an asterisk unless I messed up the ruins rule. No, I mean, there's a lot of rules. I almost uh, fell asleep. I, it was a long rule book. I was laughing. I don't it was, know how it was, you fell it asleep. Was, it was a very funny rule book, but I was just like, oh my God, so many rules. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't do rules. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right. Now the animals move. Now the animals move. I'm in sight of an animal, which scares me, so we'll see. Uh, you are in sight of one of the... Uh, the little critters, but yeah. the little critter can go as far as it wants. Oh, so he's gonna go to you. Well, not as far as it goes <laughs> to. It's not gonna go to me. You're close to it. Ah, uh, all right. Well, let's look. Okay, first one is <clears> this <throat> dude, me. which we don't have any on the board. No. Then we're gonna go over to the Sagitta Avis. The flying scorpion. Uh, I think he wants to try to scare <laughs> that little uh, the. Does he want to scare the big guy away, or does he want to scare the smaller guy away? I don't know. Well, there's meat where where the big guy is. Does he like to eat meat? He does. He so does. maybe he would go over there. He's like, hey, if, not only that, it's in one of his preferred biomes. Oh, yeah. If he can scooch him out of the way. Well, this is also preferred, preferred biome. It is, but there's meat there. Yeah, I, I agree. So, role playing this out, I think he's going to go there and say, hey, I want that meat. Right, right, go away. 
So the Dominus Solis, he's gonna do to him now, what could, he did now, to his brother. Could I think. he have run over here? Which one? The Dominus Solis. He can move one hex. Yeah. Cause so why wouldn't we have put him here? We can if we if we absolutely can. Right, and then maybe he can attack that dude now. Oh, uh, that's true because that little critter just scared him. Yeah. So we could do that. I think we should. Well, let's do that. Unless you think he should go stomp well, on his face. Let's let's find out what the other guy's going to do. The other guy is defensive. Or is that defensive? Or he, He's got a shell, so I, I assume he has oh, it's, some sort it's of... Pa he's passive. He will fight if he's attacked and cannot run. Okay. He'll scare if he's at the den and the other creature is hostile. Mm -hmm. Well, he has no den. He's a wandering monster. Okay. He'll consume if there's food. Uh, he'll call only if there's a den, and he's, he does not, he is not a den creature. He will run if he's threatened, and he, and, uh, oh, no, passives, it says they will not be hurt. He'll consume, if he consumes, they will not be hurt. Oh, no, they will consume if they will not be hurt. Mm. That makes more sense. So he's... He's just going to run away. I think he's going to run. He's he's getting out of but here. But he likes the desert, so would he go to the desert? You know what? He, pref he or prefers would he prefer that to, zone. Or would he prefer to go and try and beat up our crash No, site? he likes the desert. Yeah. The desert is his preferred place. All right. Cool. And he thinks that all deserts within four are home to him. Oh, wait. We didn't even do this. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to move the other the, flying. The other flying thing. Flying scorpion. So, he likes meat. He also likes uh, swamp and forest. He doesn't really even like our area. I'm in forest right now. You are in forest. But, so I, but I'm bigger. The other one going to swamp, that made more sense. Remember we said he likes swamp and forest. Right. Uh, they're singular creatures, so they don't have to pack up. But I think he might actually go to the forest. He can fly that far. Oh, because he can go... Not that I don't want him to attack us. I mean... But why when, would he when, go would to he, the tundra? Would he technically scare me since I'm alone? He would have to get to your spot. Isn't but, he in but, my, Like, he's one space away. But my, my question is, is why would he want to go scare you? Because you're not in his biome. Okay. You're in the tundra. Okay. In the tundra. You're in the... You're in the tundra. No, no I'm, in in the, the, I'm in the you're forest. In the, oh, you are in the forest. I thought it was the tundra. No. I'm in the tundra. All right, he's going to go there and he's going to scare you away. Ah, oh, that is scary. That is, that's so little. Where, where do you I don't go? like bugs. Where you do I? I can't tell you. Yeah, I'm not in your spot. So I can come to you? Yes, you can. I can answer rules questions. <laughs> I can't say what you should do, but I can answer rules questions. All right. I mean, does anything happen to me because I was scared? I just ran away. You just ran away. All right. That sounds accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I run away, run away. I'll just have to move back and fight, it, fight him. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So that was the critter actions. Spawn dice. Oh, oh, nothing. That, that was great. I need to roll that. He rolled a nothing and a three. I roll a... Den and an asterisk. Which so means, means the Vomo guy. comes out. Uh, and the Vomo comes out right here. Oh, it goes out in his own den. In his own den. Correct. Yikes. Yeah, those those we need to actively kill as they come out. Otherwise, yeah. you know, four of them come out and they that put could they be really bad. Vomo goo. Nobody likes it. Oh, boy. Okay, so now we're, it's my turn. Uh, it's who, who, uh, well, no, it is not. We gain a hunger and a loneliness. No, we're together. Yeah, but we have to actually take the socialize free, the free action. action. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to free socialize. Hey, let's get rid of our loneliness. <laughs> I need to find a blue terrain without this guy here. Uh, how about that blue terrain with the other guy I, here? That's really far away. That is... Oh, I could actually map. move here first and then go straight down. Can actually move the map a little further down. Yeah. Because we are not down there at all. Well, I might go down there. You might. To build the 
bioplastic. Well, that's the thing. Bioplastic refinery? Yeah. Now, or, if I move here, I would have to take a second action to fight him. Yes. Blah. But I should do that. Uh, why don't, since we're together, I can actually... We can talk I about can it. We can talk about we're it. We're in the same spot. I could go to the plant farm and fight him. However, I really need to move two spaces and fight the, Vol- the Vomo before right. that gets out of control. I have a free move, so I can take on the other dude. Um, meat does not, does not feed me at all. Oh yeah, because we need to... We need to build the Xeno So we lab. actually need these leaves to like heal ourselves. Well, I could, we need a blue, we need a blue cube is what we need. And we then need we can build that. <laughs> we need a blue cube. All right, let me, let me do a search action for free. I'm going to search here. Come on, blue. How about green? All right. Green. That's close to blue. Well, it might produce us food. It might. Hey. How about food? It's green. It's a green cube, which is food. And technically, I'm there. No, actually. Actually, I'm there. I'm going to eat to cure one of my hunger. It's one. And then I get that for free. Oh, man. Because this needs to be built on blue. She took all the food with her. I did. I'm very hungry. Uh, you gotta go right here and get more food. Oh, you can't hear me. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Okay. I'm that gonna... was my tummy grumbling from like the next hex away. Explores. This is your actual move. This is my actual move. How about a blue? Yes, 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 yes. Come on, resource, 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 resource. Ah, anomaly, which could be okay. Phenomena. Is it a den? No. <laughs> yes, it is a den. It's a den. Oh, do we shuffle these? Yes. Oh, he's so cute. It's a little like scorpion mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute <laughs> scorpion mouse. Look at this little like razor sharp tail. Um, uh-huh. I want you to look again at that scorpion mouse and tell me that he's cute when you see the number. He's a number two. He is as big as we are. I know, I know. He's more like a scorpion super large hedgehog. He's really cute, though. He's really big. So that's unfortunate. All right, so patient carnivore that waits for prey to die from poison. Oh. Poison. Target takes one damage every round, including this round, until it dies or consumes a plant. Maybe I should take my next two turns. Oh, I can't talk about it. I'm not going to talk to him. Maybe I could take my next two turns to kill it. Maybe you... Spoilers. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to kill that Volo. Hey, Aldi. Hey, Aldi. Is this a preview game? Um, th- This is already out, I think. I think it was delivered. It went on to Kickstarter, ki- it yeah. It was Kickstarter, and then it... Uh, far away, it was delivered, and um, two-player cooperative exploration, space critters, do yeah. our missions kind of game. <laughs> with limited funding. Yeah, do our do your missions with limited Federation funding. <laughs> we have no radio, so we're not technically supposed to talk to each other. <laughs> what is she saying? I can't even he, hear her. You can't even hear me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even give us radios. No. <laughs> or food, and currently, I'm starving. My guy... Is really starving. You need to go. I've got three hunger it's here. It's your turn. You it go, is go my fix turn. it. I can, but if I go fix my hunger, I am definitely not going to take care of that Vomo. And the Vomo is going to put Vomo goo all over our landing pad. Uh, so I'm going to go over here. You know what? I could get meat, but meat is not going to do me any good. Like I could beat up that Sagitta Avon, but it's... It's probably not going to be in my best interest. Okay. All right. So that's my, I moved. That was my whopping turn. Without talking to you, can I talk to you and say, maybe I should just move down here and do, and do that next time and just leave him by himself. I can neither <laughs> confirm nor deny that I heard anything. <laughs> we can't talk about things. Yeah. I think you'd really enjoy this, uh, Aldi. It's, it's, <laughs> it's got really interesting mechanics. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an exactly two player game. What am I? If you have a third doing? player, they can activate all the little space critters that are out here. 
This is like so scary. No, you just said he was cute. He is, but he's scary. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> okay. He's gonna come after us. All right, so you're gonna fight him. Ah. Uh, he takes a damage. There's just gonna be more that come out of you this You take den. a hunger. Every time you fight, you take a hunger. Oh. Yeah. Well, I need a blue. I need a blue cube. You go, need. You need a blue cube. Go find a blue cube somewhere. Uh, I'm busy eating. Right. Because if I don't, I'm going to die, not this turn, but next turn. Yeah, because it, it would take five food to kill us. Five hungers, pains. <laughs> five hunger pains. Yeah. Uh, don't know if I should do it. Do it. Do it. To just produce one whopping plant. And I'm going <laughs> to steal that resource while I'm here. Look at that. I have a little traffic light. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> red light it's, green light it's almost red light. the right colors but green not, light oh my god we need red light we need blue is it my turn blue light i'm gonna beat him up one more time that was my second this is your third action oh i shouldn't do that should i what i should beat him up if he attacks me do i does he take damage himself i'm gonna get poisoned no, he does not remember you have to roll this die to see what happens oh, you yeah. might actually make him your pumpkin right he might does he do that? He does. All right. If I but if I fight him, I'm gonna get hungry again. I'm just nervous, but I have two food, so it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Oh. You have killed your potential pumpkin. Oh, oh well. well. You should roll that and see what you would have rolled. All right. So he's gonna leave two no, meat. I'm not gonna he's gonna jinx leave two it. mute two meat there. It's gonna be an injury. There's a lot of injuries on this die and. If I get injured twice, I'm dead and we lose. So. Dead. Completely dead. But that's, you know what? I'm sad. Maybe I it's worth doing him. on a live stream just to see what happens. Oh my god, no. <laughs> so dramatic. That was my three actions, so We gotta have the the, the dramatic hamster sound that dun dun dun. <laughs> you don't know about that? I don't I, I think I do. <laughs> is it a is it a gif? It yeah, they have that, yeah. Without the sound. Okay. Yeah. But they actually have videos with the sound. Anyway, moving on, because you guys don't want to hear any of this. Humor. Far, far away. <laughs> Your t oh, no, it's my It's turn. you, you. You, you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to consume this for free just to get rid of the one, hunger. One of one the One whopping hung hunger. Oh, I'm supposed to get more hungry because I fought him. Yes. You could actually eat, but you don't have to. I don't. I'm not. Until dead. you have to I'm do. I'm not it. dead yet. You're not dead yet. <laughs> uh, I could. You can move any number of spaces in a straight line. So you know what? I'm gonna go up here next to you, exploring on the. Oh my third... god! You're gonna bring out big monsters. I might. Oh. You don't know. Could have been blue. Hey. It is. A it's mirror. a resource. So we're fine. No monsters fine. coming out right now. We're fine. That's the rule book says. All right. That was all of our actions. There are no drones. How about creature actions? All right. This guy, nobody at home. This Creatures guy. can fight, scare, consume, call, no, or special. Only the guys in the dens can call, though. Right? You know, if you domesticate an animal, oh, you can make them work. You can cuddle board. them. We you can ride to get him. them. Forgot. What? Sorry, my bad. Forgot what? We forgot to get him. So no, I didn't forget. I just you just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Too much going on. I have to eat. All right. You have well. All right. Okay. So he what calls for his friends? Uh, turns existing to uh. Da, 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 da. He doesn't like anything up to three hexes away from him. Maybe he can go fight him. Well, that's the question. Uh, he does like to pack up. Uh, he won't, uh, you know what? He will potentially call for somebody, and there's a reason for this. He's in his den right now, so. He, he is in his den. What is, he is a defensive creature. Here's he, the catch. It, a defensive creature will call if creatures are adjacent to the den, and this group is not at pack. All right, so he's going to call, because there he's is He's going a, to call there for is a, more critters. There is a creature. There is a creature. If I had, if I had stomped this guy... I know, I was wondering if you should have done that. Well, but we're not, you don't we know, because you're not there. We can't communicate. We can't communicate. <laughs> it's killing her. It's outright killing her to not communicate. <laughs> so, we have two Vomos 
on the map now. And we have this one Sagitta Avon creature. He's opportunistic. He's not going to jump in there. Um, yeah, no, he's not going to go out And he's, he's just as small, but he wants to protect his zone too. So he likes all of the swamp and forest areas. Would he come for this food? Or is that... No, you're there. I'm there, so he wouldn't go You're there. It. He is in his area. Now, he does know that we're in his area, but we're also size two. Right. So he's not going to just... But he might scare me. Well, mm, you know what? You are two away, and he can glide. Normally they can move one, but this guy's got glide. Mm. So I think maybe they will try to scare you away. So he flies over there. And he scares you out of his zone because his zone is everything, every swamp and forest within five hexes of him. Yeah, it's really a big That's area. a big, like, well, he is just like, he can fly all, all it's over a the map. flying scorpion to put it, to put it into picture what is it looks a, like. It is a scorpion. No, it, it looks like a flying centipede. It looks more scary than that. Looks more scary. Well, he looks really scary. She hates bugs. I don't like bugs. But I moved into your region, so I think we can region. talk. Oh, wow. Hey, how you doing? Maybe we both go down here and take on these dudes next turn. <laughs> well, that's a long... Oh, no, it's not it's a long one, way. It's, one, it's movement. one movement. It's just a straight line. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's actually not a bad plan. Because now this bug is out of the way. Now that bug is now out of the way. You have to stop when you reach an unexplored hex. Or... Something with a critter in it. Yeah. That's right. All right, anyway. All right, that was all of the creatures. Well, here's the problem. Well, no, these dudes didn't go at all. Did you forget about them? Yeah, I did totally forget about them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy first. This Sagitta Avon, he's, he wants to scare that guy out of his zone. Oh, wait, what's that dude? Oh, no, it's not in his zone. Oh, this is the crab. It's not in his zone. He wants to scare the big guy. The, the big, big guy's in his uh, zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, That's... he's going to go over there and scare him away. All right. He doesn't eat or, that, right? Or, well, he might. He is... He might eat that. He might have eaten that last time. No, he just got there and moved him away. Oh. He's defensive. If the hex is unoccupied, he would consume. And he hasn't eaten in a while. Yeah, that's right. He definitely didn't eat but last time. But... He will fight if a hostile or previously scared creature is in their territory. However, he is bigger than him. Right. I think um, he would just spend the turn eating. I think that that's reasonable. So that just goes away. The He'll meat eat the cube. meat. And so the next guy to go is the rhino dinosaur thing. Rhino dinosaur. Uh, I think um, he hates anything within two around him. So I think he's going to go kill that smaller animal. I agree. Pow. He he is aggressive. I mean, he is actively aggressive. Be, be aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the lobster crab. Right. Um, he, Would he go stomp on the little bug? No, he is actually oh, passive. Oh, he's, he's in his... He's in his... He might run away from the big guy and come here. Actually. Oh, he will definitely run away from the... Oh, he can't get that far. He's four. Is that not four? That means he likes he likes four away. He moves one hex. Oh. Yeah. I'm guessing he would move towards if that. He, if he runs away, he is just going to run his hex, and that's it. Uh, he can run towards his next zone. That is entirely reasonable. Unless not And moving him... that way, it does not move him through the crash site. And we can control well, can, him. Would he, would he choose to go to the crash site if there provides a shelter for him? It doesn't say it does. Okay. And if, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to if ask. If the crash site were in <laughs> desert, I think he would go to the crash site in the desert. Because it would be I the agree. closest desert. I agree. If it desert. was the desert. I think he's going to move towards the closest desert. Okay. And so, equidistant... He's going to go where there's less activity. He's totes dead. There's less like, yeah, he's going to be, he's going to become crab meat. Crab that meat. actually sounds really, really tasty. No, it's disgusting. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> so good. Somebody agrees with me out there. Then. I know, I know. Post in the if, chat. If, if Aldi's out there, I know Aldi likes crab. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Alaskan crab? Alaskan oh, yeah. Crab. I know he likes crab. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not as big on seafood. So. Um, we're You're not big on anything but chicken. Yeah, this is true. I'm not. I don't like food. <laughs> All right, so 
We get we get lonely, but we're not really lonely. We yeah we're we don't even really need to put it because we're talking. I get, here. We get hungry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, the first free act. No, we have to roll these, right? Oh, it is absolutely probably. I think it's my favorite food. Cra crab legs, snow crab, <laughs> so good. Yeah. I love crabs so much. I even watch Deadliest Catch. So. <laughs> That's all about crabs. It's all about crabs. Um, we gotta roll these and spawn yes. these little. This and is this the is, problem. This is bad. This is bad because if a monster pops up there, we're gonna we gotta roll bad. well. I rolled well. I didn't. You didn't. Oh my god, we have another wandering creature. Uh, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah we, we do. do. It's a wandering four, and we don't have critter. a four over here. Or what is it? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. What is it? Oh no, Lacero pulvinus. He looks so cute. Gorges on large creatures, <laughs> non-aggressive to smaller creatures while digesting, but still exerts dominance. He has a skill impose. Explorers in the hex get a get one lone loneliness. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, we need to like. I don't know. We need to run run know. away from him. Put him here. Um, it says he goes, I did not get any Alaskan king crab. I didn't get any. Yeah. The entire time that we were there. Yeah. I didn't get any crab. Should have. Because we were out, I had to get something from, from one of the drugstores in Juno, and didn't get to go to the crab place in Juno when everybody, Aldi and Lincoln and everyone went. went. Yeah. I didn't get to go. It was busy. Yeah, it was really busy, but... It, it seemed really, yeah, it seemed really packed. All right. But they got seated and everything. So this is the question. I think we haven't they, put him here. They, he likes gray. Right. Which is the, it, it's down here. But he has to it's go adjacent to us. He has to go adjacent. But, but we, don't, he, we don't want to put him in this path because we're going to go down there, remember? True. So if we have, and a, we can, we can if we have a choice. We uh, I don't see why we wouldn't have a choice. If there were a closer place to get to the tundra, then I would probably put him closer to the tundra. Okay. So. Oh, man, we have two fours out there. It's like... Oh, that would have been awesome. They found another place in week two. Oh. Yeah, more like, yeah, totally much more like a restaurant than just a, you know, crab shack. <laughs> I mean, everybody was really happy with the crab shack, so. Oh. Forgot. Battery's running low. On uh, my computer. That would be bad. Not plug it in. So while she gets the battery, I may actually take my turn. What? Well, you know, these things yeah, happen. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, I'm going to starve if I... You know what? I can hit that guy, but I'm going to starve next turn. And I can tell you that because we're in the same hex. Oh, yeah. For now. I can hit that guy, but I'm going to starve. You have a plant. Would you give me a plant? Oh my god, I need it for the bio, bio for the Xeno you know lab. What? Well, you're about to die next. You can't punch him or you die. That's true. We need to find a, a we need to find a blue cube so that I can build that thing so we can eat meat and come back here and get some meat or something. That would be nice. Uh, so, do you want to do an explore action? I can actually survive one. So I am going to do an explore action. Oh, I don't have We that. are right on the edge here. Living on the no, edge. No, it's a purple. What's with all the purple? There's only six purple in a huge stack. And there it is. All right, exploration. Oh, uh, boy. It's an anomaly. All right, two cubes, two cubes, two cubes. Den four, den four, den four. No, seriously, yes. we already have den four. Yep, we get another one. This may be a, a loss we're, condition. We are here. gonna lose this game super hard. Because yeah, that's one of the um, mouse scorpions. All right, well, that's a bummer. Living on the edge. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, I cannot. I can no longer help you. <laughs> we need a blue cube. And I need, or I go. I need to go down there to build this thing to get us a blue cube. And it's like we built this like little like thing here where it's really hard to get around. Oh boy. 
<laughs> I can't say anything. I know you can't. I don't know what to do. Do. Well, you could ask your audience for suggestions. Anybody? <laughs> On the edge. Thanks, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Living on the edge. Yeah, I already I, sang that. I know. You were busy in thought. You were like, focused. I am. I should heal at least one of my things. So I will spend my first action to move. Actually, I can pick that up because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you? Um. <laughs> Go to the plant farm. I'm going to heal my other one and just. <laughs> just deal with it oh yeah alright time to explore a little bit more what is that come on tundra this is horrible there's a whole bunch of blues I know because I punched this game I know that they're there cubes 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 is it a den it's another den creature den one. Oh no we are super unlucky Oh, it's the guy from um, Turbella Lacerda. Spirit Away. Uh, passive in small numbers, overly aggressive in large numbers, and capable of overwhelming even the most dangerous creatures. So, we have the Den 1. <laughs> We're just getting pounded on right now with Are these monsters. Like turtles or. No, it's. No, like... it's the wrong one. It. Yeah, it looks like a frog type creature. How about this frog type creature? Maybe it's a. a I wish you guys could see the tokens a little better. Yeah, but they're they're really, they're drawn. They're drawn really faintly. They're drawn faintly on yeah, the tokens. Yeah, you will It's just even without yeah, the glare, you really can't not, tell. Not happening. Oh my gosh! All right, that was at your turn. That was my second action. All right, I'm gonna grab. A leaf. <laughs> a plant? That's a power play right there. Well. <sighs> and then for the third action. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm going to go. If I, well, you can't even get to me if I do that. What about that if, one? If I go here, yeah. and then we're both next to the baddies. Uh, that's true. They won't want to come after us. They're smaller than us. Except two of them can do two damage. Yeah, it's for dead. So Or I'm we going... make them our pets. <laughs> well, that is possible. It is. I don't know. You can go over there if you um, want. I, I have food for now. So. I'm going to go over here to stay safe. And oh, it is not what we want. Man. It's... Freaking desert. Can't find the blue land for, canyons. for life. It looks like desert. No. A wandering monster. What kind of wandering monster did we get? None. No, that did the wrong die. Yeah, no. <laughs> you wish it was none. It's I do. really a crab. A crab. And it's his home terrain too. Yeah, he's going to He's probably happy there. Yeah, hopefully he just we can coexist. Alright. In peace. That was my third. What do I want to do? I'm probably close to final action. <laughs> uh, come on. No. Uh, 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 uh. I'm All out right. of food. I'm going to go here. You're going to go there. Yep. It is Canyon. What is the deal? Who shuffled this? I believe that would be <laughs> Me. this girl. I need that die. You need that you die. You need to stop rolling because you're not doing a good job. No. You have made a mineral vein. We have lots of minerals. We need not minerals. And you know what? Yeah, time. we actually we did that thing early on to get four to give minerals. Us minerals. And, and now we've got minerals we all got over all the board. We got all the minerals. <laughs> all right. Typical. Hey, guess what happens? Hey. Hey. The creatures get to move. Starting with the frog. The frog creatures. Are you on the frog? No. Uh, no, the frog is next door to me. Okay, he might move to me then. Uh, no, he's a passive creature, isn't he? Oh, passive, yeah, in small numbers. So, uh, he'll he's, he'll only fight if he's attacked and can't run. He'll scare if they're at their den and the other creature's hostile. Um, but if he moves off the den, then he's he's not there anymore. He won't want to do that. Right. 
Um, he might just want to work his way over to this food. That's they'll there. run if they're threatened, but he's not really threatened. He isn't he? No, no, he doesn't have a biome. Right. He he can go anywhere. But he likes all types of food. He does like all types of food. Problem is. Um. Oh, he will call if creatures are adjacent or at the den, and this group is not at pack. Oh, so well, he would get another one. Right. Oh my god, we're just getting swarmed with... He will call for more creatures. That's what he does. Yep. The Vomo. Uh, yeah, you're next to him. That's great. Uh, Vomos are defensive. Uh, and anything three away, they will go after. If a hostile or previously scared creature is in their territory, they will fight. Uh, if a non-hostile creature is in their territory for the first time, they'll scare. Am I going to get scared? Well, technically you've been there for a while, but they, you, they were, you were never close enough to I them. wasn't there there. So I think one of them might go over and try to scare you away. Because you haven't been down there. They wouldn't move as a pack? Uh, They can move as a pack, but one of them will scare you and the other one will probably follow up behind. Okay. But they can only move one space. Alright. So they both move to you and they scare you away. Boot! I'm gonna run to you. Yeah. Alright, that was the Vomo. I was scared. Now we're talking to each other again. Um, now, they... they. Oh, wait a second. They, they are not at their pack level. So they wouldn't do that? Uh, if creatures are adjacent or at the den and this group is not at pack level... Oh, then they would call for one more. Then they would call for one more. So then Instead of go scare you. Um. Though scaring you is not a bad plan. But they've called before. Let's let them call again. We don't want them to get we, to four. We don't. That's fine. Which means, but we if we don't get food, it's over anyway. Yeah, well, we, yeah. Yeah. We can't even eat meat at all. Uh, the rules are unclear, but it says that it requires, remove all hunger, requires xenobiology lab. It doesn't even say, wait a second, plant remove all hunger. Oh, plant remove all hunger? Yes. All right, then I would have given you one of my plants and I would have cured all my hunger. That's right. So. And you know what? Both of them would have been used. Yeah, they would have both been used. Plants the ones that cure. we used. Plants don't cure one hunger, they cure all hunger. Ah. So, yeah. Because I had to. Vegetarians I used one. don't get unfair adva you uh, disadvantages. One. So now we're not going to die in one minute. Correct. <laughs> we might die of other reasons, like two injuries. <laughs> oh, we got some new people. Lusa Palooza, Rurukus Macalis. Yeah. I think A L E X A tried to answer. I heard. I heard her. Oh beat. yeah, she's a. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining us on this. This yeah. uh, it's a lot of fun. This is sort of an impromptu Sunday afternoon. Hey, let's play Far Away, and I can get dressed up in my geeky Star Trek <laughs> outfit. True. So, yes, Derek. One more round. Where we don't... Well, actually, several more rounds. Now that we don't have to eat. Yeah, now we're that we know plants We should have gone to kill hunger. Vomo now that well, we know we weren't going to die. It's fine. We're going to deal with them next we're time. We're going to deal with them. We're going to have to. Well, we're Pretty not much. dead yet. So this guy goes. Yeah, the, the uh, scorpion mouse. The scorpion mouse. He's going to go poison somebody, but it's, at least it's not us. You know what? He doesn't like people in... What is that? The purple and the yellows? I do love the uniform, says Derek. Why, thank you. <laughs> I've had it for years and years. So, uh, he, he doesn't like anyone in the purple and the yellow. Otherwise, he is defensive. Um, creatures are adjacent to his den, right? And he's not at pack level. So he's going to call for another space mouse. No. Yeah, that's not good, but I think he's going to They're call. really scary, but really cute at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> really scary. I wish you could see the little picture. Really cute. But it's really faint. It's even faint on our end, so. What? 
Uh, Live long and play board games. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, so now we're going to do the Sagitta, the little flying uh, critters. We have one here and here. Well, this guy's still in his zone. Oh, this guy is um, the crab. This guy's the crab. He can fly over here. He actually... Can he deal a damage? He can't, and you know what? He's opportunistic. An he opportunistic could... creature will fight if the creature eats meat. Check. And the prey is injured, alone, or smaller. Check. Oh, it's not smaller. Two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I want you. I'll eat Ow. you. And because he's a size three, that means three meat go and down. Ain't no way you're ever gonna fight back. But you know what? You know what's gonna happen? He's gonna. Yes. He's gonna I get. Know exactly. He's gonna get I know exactly what's gonna happen. However, the critter doesn't see it yet. No, he's too small. The the Dominosaurus. No, we have more of the Sagittas. All right, so we've got this Lacero in in the area. And it is his area. So you know what he's going to do? He might go to that area, which is also his area. He's opportunistic. And so scare. If the other creature is bigger and alone, he'll try to scare. Oh, okay. Or would he eat the, the meat? He will. If the hex is unoccupied, he'll he then will. eat the meat. Okay. Uh, no, it says consume. He'll consume if there is food. However, there is a bigger dude a right there. There's a big creature right there so. who also eats meat. Everything on this board eats meat. Yeah, this is no, the vo the vomo does. Uh, he eats uh, he eats whatever is sitting what a, around. He eats meat and goes oh, after he, dead animals. He likes dead animals. He likes dead animals. Right. All right, so Great. we're gonna scare the the yeti dude. Yeah, he wants the. I think he's gonna no. So the yeti guy, where did, where does he prefer to go? He and likes he, gray, uh, gray. So he would probably go here, the launch pad, which is not good. There's a condition. No, uh, there. Oh, that is the landing pad. So yeah, uh, what uh, happens when a creature reaches the landing? This pad? is a, con a this contingency. Is contingency mission. So if this happens, we have to reveal this card. Does that happen right now? Alert. The landing pad is compromised. Sensors oh. detect additional life forms underneath the foundation. Probable genetic relation between the new creatures and the intruder. Add four creatures no. to the landing pad. Of the These same creatures match what's there. No. What? Do they attack their own kind? They don't. They, they don't. Oh, no. Oh, One, two, no. three, four. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. They they won't attack us, right? Uh, they are opportunistic. But they they like to attack larger animals. Uh, opportunistic will attack anything that it can get to. An opportunistic creature will fight if it eats meat and the prey is injured, alone, or smaller. Will he deal damage to our land? That's pad? three out of three for us when we're split apart. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. But the, all the other people are smaller, too. That's that's good, but, you know... They... We need to go that way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> now, these guys are loners. They're just going to split up. Yeah. Because there's an actual count on this. They'll If there's one dot, they'll be in pack of, packs of one, Were basically. Were you supposed to add three or add four? Add... Four creatures. <laughs> he only Not added bring it to three. four. Add four. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Five creatures. That's five of five, them. Five creatures. Yeah, they're really big. So that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Um. So he got scared away and tromped onto Probably the landing pad. Probably shouldn't have done pad. that. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know what was going to happen. Well, he does like Tundra. So that's where he would have gone. I know. That's where he would have gone. This is so, true. So that's really sad. The Dominosolis is going to go over there and eat the Sagitta Avon. Right. You know, because he can. This dude. This dude. Down here. Comes over here. He goes, doesn't like anything. How? And he eats him. How? Well. Dead. He kills him. He'll eat him later. He'll eat him later. All right. Now he's got all the food. He's got all the food. We'll just let him be. <laughs> we need to go down there. We need to get away from these dudes. All right, the crab. 
What kind there, of crab? There are no crabs. And the, there's one crab where you are. Oh, there is a crab. So, if they're passive, are they at the den? No. They're not attacked. Where the heck is the den? Uh, creatures are adjacent or at the den, and this group is not in pack. Where is the den? That's not the den. That's the Yeti den. We're looking for den four. No, uh, no, den three. Oh, den. See, they don't have a den. Oh, they don't have a den. They they can't they can't. He doesn't den have up. a den. Yeah, he's just wandering. So, actually, uh, well, he's bigger, but does he? Since he's passive. I wonder if he will believe that they're threatened. But you're in the location with him. Would he, would he attack you? That's what you? I'm saying. If he's threatened, he may run. Mm. Why would he be? Why would he be threatened? Because you're I could. You're smaller. But I could. Why are you threatened whenever there's a bug? Because it's scary. <laughs> Maybe I'm. I mean, look at me. I'm pretty scary. This is true. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do? It's a, it is a lot of fun. It's, uh, no, we have no weapons. We no, have the Federation no is cheap. We have no weapons. We have nothing. We have nothing. <laughs> we, we don't even have radios. We don't have food. We don't have radios. We can't talk to <laughs> one another. We just have to, we're just like, we can dumb. explore though. We're like, hey, go there. And we're like, yeah. okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> we also don't have landing gear. So we crashed on the planet. We did. And then they they make us repair it ourselves. Yeah, we're going to have to <laughs> repair our <laughs> ship in there. Uh, that's like way down on the priority list right now. <laughs> so far down right now. We have we have five cr big, huge critters on the landing pad. They're all size four. We are size two. Yeah. It's big. I don't know. We can't do anything about that. We have to make them beat up. They have other. to. They have to go somewhere else. Right. So that's not good. Did we? Okay. Well, uh, we didn't go through all the rest of it. So the crab, I yeah. think he, I think he's just gonna run away. He likes, well, he likes do, desert and forest. Do you run away because he scares you? If they are at their den and the other creature is hostile, otherwise, you, you are hostile. He's not at a den. No, but he's in his area. So he runs to me. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think he'll. I think he'll run to you, uh, hoping to get to the other desert. All right. I think he's just gonna crab skitter away. All right. Because that's what he. That's what the card says. Well, it's gonna hurt you. Uh, it's also gonna hurt uh, the plant farm because when he skitters through there, he's gonna do a damage to it, and it's gonna destroy it's gonna that destroy plant the... farm. Oh, that's bad. Well, you can like. Well, you can't smack him because he's bigger. It would take me three turns. Well, it would. It would yeah. It would take me all my actions to, to destroy him. Yeah, that's yeah, not good. That's not good. That's really not that good. That plant farm's just going to have to die. No. Well, there's nothing. You try to stop the big crab. That's bigger than you. We need, yeah. All right, the Lacero. Explores let's, let's, in. Let's make him go that way and beat him up. <laughs> I'm going to let you be bait. I'll be bait. <laughs> all right, let's sit the Lacero. Uh, the huge, oh, those are the ones that are on the landing pad. <laughs> uh, he likes the gray. Yeah. He's in the gray. Yeah. Does he call for more friends? He is opportunistic. Um, there is prey in the next area over. Right. And the Lacero eats meat. Yes. So would you say that one moves in, beats that up, one moves in, eats that, one moves in, eats that, one moves in, eats that meat? You know, that's, if there is, since he is opportunistic, if there is food, he would eat food. So, smash. Smash. Correct. Yeah. All right, here, put those back. So, which makes him meat, which he will come eat, he'll come eat, and he'll come eat. That's, that's my, all yeah. of the meat. Well, all right. And so, what about they're, they're basically big... They're monkey vultures. How? What does this guy do? I don't know. Does he go kill this crab? <laughs> well, there's. You're dying for that to happen. I don't want to lose the plant farm. Well, this guy likes tundra. Okay. But and he's in tundra. Okay. I think he may just 
say. Sit. He doesn't call because he's not in a den, so he he's not. Call. And he's not threatened, and there's no creatures nearby, and he's not a den creature, and there's no food close. Okay. I think he's. I think he sits. He just does nothing. That's sad. Yeah, uh, just standing on our landing pad. Whatever. Actually, you know what? If we go here and we can kill these, well, you can't really get there. So well, why well, can't? Oh, well, could. I can't because of the crab. You could. It will take more movement to you, do that. You can't say. You can't tell me. Yeah, right. All right, we gain uh, spawn dice and here. loneliness. Oh, no, yeah. spawn, spawn dice. dice. Oh. That's first. Nothing. A wandering creature of my choice. All right. And the little baby one. Uh, well, I was going to put him next door on these crabs. All right. Oh. Mm. That's a hard choice. Actually, you know, oh, you know what I'm going to put a Dominosaurus. No, 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 no. You know what will happen? What? I know we can't talk, but I'm breaking the rule of not talking. Because if you move off of there, he's going to go there. Eventually. Instead of going through the plant farm is what I'm getting at. Oh, yes. Correct. But I have to choose. Dominus Solace, really? Have, yeah, there's a reason for that. All right, tell me why. He's a four wandering creature. Yes. He's going to start beating. Look at all stuff. these other four wandering creatures. All right. They need to eat each other. They do need to eat each other. Put them on each other. <laughs> fight fire with fire or. Oh, sorry. As I like to say, you fight big creatures with big creatures. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, maybe we could make him our pet. If, if they beat up. Yet. I know. Well, I'm scared to roll that orange die. There's only one chance out of six that he'll become my friend. We might have to. We might get a whole lot of injury or get hunger pains. Well, you know what? Best time to do it's on a stream where everyone can see what happens. Whatever. Where what happens. everybody <laughs> can see our failure, our Disney All right. Failure. So now we're lonely and Now we're lonely hungry. and hungry. Oh, man. And now it's our turn again. So our new mission, actually, we should review it. Oh, yeah. If one building is destroyed or three buildings have any damage, this mission uh -oh. activates. We don't want that to happen. And we're still trying to build the freaking Xenobiology we're Lab. Or still, we haven't found blue core. cubes at all. No blue. Is that that's a green over there? That's not a blue. All right. Well. All right. I'm gonna go stomp on some people. Turn tracker reset. Yeah. Move. <laughs> go stomp. <clears throat> Done. Done. <laughs> that was one movement. That was fantastic. So great. Uh, you know what? I could go the long way around. I agree with you on that. You can't agree because you're not here. Well, so, no. Um, we have, on the stream, it makes uh, sense to break the no communication. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we can talk about what we're doing. But I don't know what she's strategy. saying. Yeah, he's not supposed to listen. What's she saying? I can't even hear Hey, it. it's a resource. You mean more freaking minerals. More yellow. Who shuffled this? <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right. That was my first action. No, you've already done your first action. What's I your did. second action? Fight. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah? He dies, right? Yeah. And he drops the meat. And you gain a hunger. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm going to fight again next time. Uh, I don't know. I am going to move down here. All the places where crabs can go now. And it's still not blue. It's green, though. It's green. All right, no monsters. I got somewhere that's green. And... A green cube. Uh, a green cube, which I am immediately going to put in my possession. I have my traffic light again. Yes. Red light. I won't be able to kill all these dudes. Green but light. That's fine. I'm going. Yeah, to... you can. You've got a plant. You can eat a plant. Yeah. No, I understand that I can do that, but it drops in I, meat. That's my third action for the round. So there's well, still yes, gonna, there's yes, still going to be somebody left over. So put that with the space critters. Um, and I should should I eat the green cube now? Should you eat the green cube now? No, you can get one more hunger. I except well. I can't we tell you. We don't know what's going to happen. I cannot advise you at this point. <laughs> All right, I'll just hang tight. Maybe it will be fine. 
So yeah, the uh, the no communication is actually part of the game rules because the Federation was too cheap to outfit our uh, suits with with radios. So we can't communicate if we're not in the same hex. However, the the suits do communicate how hungry we are to each other. Yes. <laughs> so they will let us know how lonely and and hungry each of us are. Yeah. So we have readouts, but we have no radios, no right. voice radios. Right. It's hilarious. <laughs> and they actually justify it in the rules. It's fantastic. Some of the most fun I've ever had reading a rule book. Even even as good as some of Vlada's stuff. Mm. So yeah. it was it was funny. Yeah. It was good. It reminded me of Lost. If you watch Lost, like the the, the tutorial, TV show, right? Lost the TV show when in like season two or whatever, where there's like tutorial videos. It just reminded me of that kind of like at- atmosphere, like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move over here, hoping to move the crab away. Good. And that's basically all that that is going to do, is move the crab away. Hopefully I don't get jumped by the other stuff. But we're, we're going to find gonna out. He wasn't going to move either way, though. If you, if you don't move in there, it's fine, right? If I don't move in there? Yeah, he was going to stay where he is because he's happy. He is happy there. Or would he? Yeah, because... Oh, he's happy. You know what? If he's happy there. Yeah, you can come to me. I'm going to come down there. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't I can't smack him. Right. So. All right. That's my turn. Hey, we're we're we can you can use a free action to make our loneliness go away. Uh it it's it's they did it for the co op game because it it's only two players. It's only two players. It, it forces you to stay together, not just for the loneliness aspect, but for that communication aspect. It forces you to every now and then come back together, together to, to, to do all of the strategizing. Yeah. Yeah. And he just ordered it. Th- there you so, go. Yeah. Just like that. Mm. Just like that. We'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to tell the publisher. Yeah. They're going to be happy. Absolutely. So we can cure our loneliness because you joined me. Uh, yes. And that's a free action before we do any of the end, end of round stuff. All right. Uh, the that's monsters. all we have to do. So all the critters get to move. All right. So we got frogs. We got frogs. Where are the frogs? They're scared of the big dude, I think. Uh, yeah, the frogs definitely have to be scared of the big dude. They're passive. And when they're passive, they're, is that their den? Um, no. No, that is their den. Is it? Yes. They oh. will scare if they are at their den and the other creature is hostile. That happens. Rah! This Rah. is how you scare. Boo. <laughs> All right, so this guy is going to get scared. Where does he like? Where does... Uh, Let's move him here. Where's the domino like? No. Oh. Where, oh, he doesn't like any specific He doesn't thing. like type. He's just going to get things back. Right. He's going to he's gonna get things back. So we have to decide where he's going to go. Do you think he would move towards the food? Um, He might go... He might go to this crab area and move towards the food. Let's keep him away from the plant farm. <laughs> well... Let's think about those three critters here, one here, four here, two here. This is open. Yeah. So I think either of these would be valid. I think this one might be equally valid. All right. Which, whichever Either one. way. We want we want to put fours on fours so they can start ganging up. True. So, so let's move them towards... We'll move them that In way. our benefit, we'll move him that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we have the VOMO. Oh, I'll what? put us on the front page of... Uh, board game geek. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Oh gosh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um, you know, just another normal Sunday, right? Just another Saturday, some Monday. <laughs> Sunday. All right. So, okay. uh, the more critters. Vomo. He's the Vomo. In, he's in our location right now. No, no. We are in his location. Let's we're I mean, in his den. It's the same thing. No, not the same thing because... We're invading his home. Reading the cheat sheet, the creature habit easy access table. <laughs> so he is defensive. A non-hostile creature... No, we're hostile. If a hostile or previously scared creature is in their territory... Oh, uh, he previously scared you. Yes. He will try to no, fight. No, did he? Did he? Yes. He previously did. scare me? Yeah, he scared you into my hex. And you went back and you beat him up. I thought we decided so, that he couldn't scare me because he had to call for friends as backup. Well, you beat up their guy. 
Yeah. So, a hostile or previously scared. Okay, I was hostile. You were... I was super hostile. She's a little All right. hostile. All right, so we see if I get injured then, because I am not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe he'll be my friend now. Maybe he'll be your little baby Vomo critter. No, no. he will bite you. <laughs> I got injured. Now, if I get injured a second time, we die, or I die. How about we... this standard injury report? Read what happens, Steph. Prevents the reading and hearing of mission card text. Oh, she can't hear the mission card text whenever I... Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that's bad or if that's good. I'm paranoid. So I have to, For I what have... it's worth, I'm paranoid. <laughs> oh, so you you won't listen when I read the mission card So text. I won't know what to do? Pretty for much. Ne- for the next mission? Yes. Unless I tell you. Oh. But you... You, I currently know the one that we have to do right now. Yes, correct. And then after that, I don't have any knowledge of what's going you on. You have no there. knowledge. Now I'm going to actually probably make you go into the other room and then I'll <laughs> tell it to the viewers because you but, can't know. But if you, I mean, if we're in the same hex, can you tell me at that point? I could tell you. I could tell you in my own words. It prevents the reading and hearing of mission card, C A R D text. And this is the mission card text. We already so knew this one. You already knew it. But, but I don't know the back. I don't but, know what the back says. And you won't know the back when we complete it. You won't know what happens. All right. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving right along. Moving right along. What's the next critter? The mouse scorpions. He's so cute. Irenacine spaghetti. All right. call them they, they, they're just called for more help, I think. They're, gonna, they're, they're not at max. They they're need, not at max. They, they need, need three. They need one more. They so need this their is not, third. This is not going to be great. So he calls for another mouse critter, and now they have a full pack. They have a full pack. Yes. What's going to happen with the Sagittarius? Oh, did we kill them all? Did we kill them all? Well, we didn't, but I think these guys ate they're one, no, and these guys ate they're one. They're no gone. more on the board. Turn them upside down. Oh, that's not going to help. Oh, like that. Sure. Or we can actually turn them over to their, the green, their side. green side. There are no more. That'll just help remind us. We can just skip them. Dominus Solus. This guy. He's the rhino looking dude. We have two of them on the board. Right. He is aggressive. He's aggressive. A fight is possible, so they will move and fight. Who will they fight? Probably not. <laughs> well, not the ones that they just that just scared them. I would agree with that. Unless the odds are overwhelming. Well, now it's two on one. Two little critters on one. Uh, they could go and fight. They could go and fight this uh, guy over here. Yeah. The single. As much, I'm worried about the landing pad, but yeah. Right, but the landing pad uh, currently is not going to... We can't damage the landing pad with the fight, right? The only thing that can currently damage the landing pad is are those the, crabs. It's the crab, okay. The burrowing crabs. All right. So he goes there. He hits the other guy for one, and this guy just wants to eat food, right? This guy, I think he'll, I think he'll eat once, but then he will have eaten and he'll like move on. Okay, so next round he's gonna move. So cause remember, he killed last time. Right now he's gonna eat a little bit. Right, he's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. All eating. these guys just because he's aggressive. Ate. So now they're all gonna go beat up this guy. They just ate. They're probably gonna go beat up. That, that guy, guy, unfortunately. Well, no. So well, we got the crab. The crab is happy where he is. He's passive. Right. Um, they're not. He's not adjacent to food. Well, he technically is, but we're there. Oh uh, yeah. So he's not gonna come get us. He's he's I would passive. Say, yeah, he's, he's not, not coming. Okay. He's not coming. Lacero. Uh, the these are not a pack of Lacero, but they are all individual ones. Right. That are acting individually. Individually. So, uh, this guy is going to do a damage. That's number two. Number three. Number four. They are opportunistic. So, they're just going to like pile on. Well, no, no, no. You're killing the wrong one. What? Oh, they, they, no, 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 They no. don't kill its own one, kind. One, two, three, four. And then the four. four. The guy here. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, all four of those will kill. Four orange cues because... He was a strength four, and they all just ganged up on him. Pink cubes. They're pink meat cubes. No, they're orange. They're orange? They look pink to me. No. <laughs> they're, they're orange. All right, this guy, uh, remember, he likes the tundra. Right. Uh, so he would probably go with the rest of the pack? 
I think he just wants to sit there and hang out. Oh man, that's really bad. It's not great. You know what? We I want think them to little... go bait up the rat pack. Well, we do, but I don't we can't, know if that's we can't, happen. We can't get. Maybe the rats will move out next turn on attack them. We'll figure it out. Slow poisonous death. That's what the rats do. That would be really good. That's what they do. A target takes a one damage. Spawn dice. Oh, no. I'm going to get... Nothing for me. I'm going to get... A den of your choice. A den of my choice. Who do we want? Well, it's not going to be the Vomo. Oh, they're all really bad. They're all really bad. Well, we're here. We could put him there. We could. And then we could just go poo. Do that again? Poo. Poo. <laughs> It's my pal. Oh, yeah. that's a pal? Yeah, just imagine like big Sounds like comic a book. There's <laughs> a big poo All right, let's word do it. bubble right next to it. We'll put more of the lizard creature dudes out. All right, so we get a loneliness and a hunger. But then we just immediately cure our loneliness. Well, we do because we're together. Right. We're being social. We're being social. My first free move will be to eat. And cure my hunger pains. Yeah, Drunk Physics says that they uh, doesn't think that uh, they've seen this game. It was on Kickstarter, I believe. I believe. And it's only got 33 uh, ratings right yeah, now. It's but like, it's rated like 8.3. I found, it on, I found it on Instagram. I'm like, that looks really cool. And then, <coughs> and then I found out it was a cooperative two-player game. I'm like, how many cooperative two-player games can you think and of? And especially during quarantine times, you know, uh, yeah. pandemic. You know, you usually got two players you can play with in a house, so it's really cool. Okay, so I'm spending a food to cure my hunger pains. That's free action. Sounds good. I'm going to punch him in the face and make a meat. And I make a meat, and I get one hunger pain. I'm out of plants. You're out of plants. I still have plants, but I have to actually eat at some point. I'm going to go explore. Oh, come on. You're leaving the other guy for me? I am looking for blue. Well, I was looking for blue more than you. This is going to be a blue competition. <laughs> it already, I mean, you're you're wearing blue. I'm wearing blue. Fine. Oh, my gosh. No blue. We only have three on the map, one of which has a dent. I suppose we could come down here, but that's oh, not Oh, you know help. what? That's not a bad plan. I don't know <laughs> and how now that I'm lined would up help, for it. though. Um, we need to roll a yeah. resource cube. Oh, yeah. We wouldn't, well, not only would we need the blue, we need to roll the resource cube. Well, or we could build the or we could build it. refinery, which I had But we need cubes. two plants. I know. So I have to move up and get the plants. Hey. Uh, we, that's an orb. We can stun them all. Go z <laughs> well, what good is stunning them going to do? Not for one turn, I mean. It's, it's one not, turn. It's not great. It's not great. All right. So it's me, I suppose. I did it's one you. action. Oh my god, nice. I don't want to be in the range of those guys to go get the green cube. I could. This is all bad. What green cube? Oh. But then I'm in the range, I'm in sight, and they're all like, they might all just eat next round. No, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, they are opportunistic. Yeah, so they'll come beat me up. And I'm already injured. Which I don't think I can prevent anymore. If there's food, it says they'll consume. All right. I'm going to go here. I guess I could have taken... Oh, I don't have any... I could take one meat. Not that it's going to help me. How about a blue? <gasps> it's a blue! I'm going to screw this up and roll a den. Or an anomaly that will cause me to put out the, the last den. That would be really bad. That would be really bad. But that's totally my luck. There's the anomaly. How about the anomaly? <laughs> Here we go. What does it say? Holy crap. No, is it? It's a watering hole. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Spawn four random creatures when discovered. No! I thought we were going to get water cubes. Oh, no. Four random creatures? Creatures cannot take fight actions in this hex. That's fantastic. So I have to roll these dice... Four times? Yes. I might get lucky and roll blank, 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 blank. Come on. Uh, no, you'll have to spawn four random creatures. That is one. Uh, who? This one? Uh, no. We definitely want a baby one. Yeah, put a baby. Put it at the other passive. baby. Passive. Yeah. He's passive. He's passive. 
All right, he goes out down there. One. Two. Another baby. Uh, remember, they can't fight when they're in this hex. Come on, it's the same thing again. Three. Three. I wonder if we they're run all out the of same animals. Baby. But if, if they get to be the pack, it's not, well, it's not good. Can't help you there. And him. But you know, they can't fight in that hex. Oh my goodness. They may they may try to wander and pack up. I can't believe that just happened. That's probably about the worst thing that could have happened. I mean, that's like we 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 were doing well. Now I think it was on Kickstarter back late twenty. 18, well, 2018? I saw twenty eighteen the forum post on BGG. Right. So. Right. Uh, but I don't know anything else uh, about what happened on the Kickstarter. Don't know how well it funded or anything, but I I did see a post on there that said it was on Kickstarter. All right, so uh, this is bad. I'm going to... I have one turn. Keep exploring. Go for blue cubes. <laughs> well, considering... Oh, it's a green. Okay. That well. is not terribly helpful. But we could we could get an anomaly that says, "Hey, destroy this to get any that, two. That or would be the best. Well, we green about, is, is not how about bad. a plant. Uh, you, I can I can leave, leave I, that I for you. I might move to take that. I can leave. I might that move for and you. explore further out that way, though. Yeah, that might be a good Just plan. Just away from all the animals. Yep. All right, here we go. Move, explore straight out. Yeah, we need to get away from everything. We, I think we need to find blue terrain without getting horribleness. Green. Uh, hey, it's a uh, it's a plant grove, which is actually really helpful right now. Destroy it for two plants, or use it to get one plant. Yeah, but I. That's all my turn right now. So. And my last action. Let's get away from everything, please. Another green. Are you kidding if, if me you right now? If you wanted to, you could have taken the green cube and left the, the meat there. Oh, that's true. It, uh, it might be more helpful at this point. Well, yeah, but I left it. I, okay. I uh. left it. We didn't communicate. We can't. We're not supposed to communicate. I believe this is the final product. We saw it on Instagram, I think you said. I saw it on Instagram. Like, ooh, that looks really fun. <laughs> and we asked for a copy. And ta-da. And ta-da. I get to review it and play it live with all of you. Anomaly. Anomaly. Oh. Are you kidding is me? Is it a den? It's a den. It's a turtle den. It's a turtle den. Oh. Turbella. Oh, man. We are just not... So some of the anomaly cards, we haven't seen them all game, but they give you, like, two resource cubes of your choice, and, like, we haven't seen any of them. We just found all the dens, and... All the dens and all the monsters running around. <laughs> now, if the monster, uh... What do you call it? If all of the monster maintenance gets to be too much, then you can sort of group them up and let them act as a group. Um, the designer says, don't try to just overthink it too much. Just, you know, if it's taking too much time to do the monsters, just move them as, as groups. And okay. so that's, yeah. So we're going to, we're going to get to that point. Yeah. Like and right about, now. And about right now. <laughs> and about right now. <laughs> Cause we have a million monsters out. All right. So all the turtle things. Turtle things. They'll eat anything. So one will probably go get that food. Yeah. And that, and they, they don't like. Yeah. They, they like staying in the pack. So you know what? I'm going to have them just go in a pack so that they can eat this one food. Yeah, they, they do like staying in the pack. Uh, the Vomo uh, turns existing dwellings into dens, we but have it other requires turtles. four. Would, oh, would yeah, it, yeah, would yeah. It, would a turtle spawn there? But we don't have any more, so I don't know what happens in that case. Uh, we I don't think that they would. there would because uh, there are no creatures adjacent. I mean, there are. Oh, there are and, creatures. And you're in the and you're in one over there. You're in the region. You're in his den over there. I'm in his den over there. I don't know. We we're out of we're out of a uh, frog token, so we don't um, really know what happens. Move. Uh, I believe the rules say move the farthest one over to where it is, and it does not get to activate. Okay, so that dude. So these are equally far, and they've already moved. So let's take this one and, all and right. match him up. I'm fine with that. Unless he was gonna, unless he would have attacked you. 
Mm, no, he's pa- he's passive. He okay. Um. At worst, it says they're at their den and the other creature is hostile, which I'm not hostile to it yet. Okay. Um. So at worst, he would have scared me. Okay, that's fine. He'll go to his other den friends. Yeah, he'll go to his den friends. So, it's actually the other one just like buried under the ground. And the other one just sort of popped up. Ran away. <laughs> yeah, popped yeah. up. Okay, so Vomo Duder. Vomo Duder. He's, we got one here, looks uh, like. Oh, we do. And we got one there. Yep. So, there are things adjacent. He's going to say, hey, I need more Vomo friends. Would, oh, okay, so he wouldn't eat? Uh, there's there's guys next door. No, oh, yeah, there's The is Vomo is defensive. He'll call for help. He'll call for help. Creatures are adjacent to the den, and this group is not at pack level. All right. This guy? Now, he could have consumed, but I think he would have called. Right. So that guy, mm, he is defensive. Yeah, but he's not going to go attack the other guy, the pack of three turtles. It seems like it would he would be scared of that. He would probably work his way back to the den. I think so. And the den is relatively close. Right. So I think he'll head that way. Yeah. All right, how about the uh, mouse scorpions? They got, they're full up. They got three in their pack. They're ready to go fight now. They are ready to go fight. They are defensive. Uh, defensive ones, if... Uh, what is their territory? It's... Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow? Mm-hmm. Well, nothing is in their territory. That's true. So maybe they wouldn't move. Maybe they wouldn't move because would, there's would they nothing still around. Would for more then? Uh, no, because they're at pack level. Pack levels. Creatures are that, adjacent, and this group is not at pack. Right, so... Um, and they're at three, so I think that they're fine. There are creatures adjacent. There are creatures adjacent, but... They're not they're in the not right in, terrain They're not type. in their terrain. Okay, so it's not a threat. I think that might be a, a standoff situation there. Okay. Uh, so we got the Dominus Solus. Right. Did, no, or did they... No, did they all die? Did they? I know one of them died. Oh, yeah, this one was down he's, here eating. He, he ate last time, so he's going to move this time. Yep. Uh, I think he's just... Uh, he, you think he's going to wander or just stay still? Because there's nothing within two of him. Oh. He might just eat. He might just sit there. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll just sit there and, and eat and Because there's graze. nothing within range, too. There's nothing around. If there was anything around, I think he'd go he after He would have him. moved because he already had eaten. Yep. Crab. Metellum crabs. He's happy where he is, I think. Yeah, he's in his he's in his region, but you know what? Well, no, because if he moves towards this way, he's moving towards two other predators. Mm. So, I think he may just he may sit there and be happy. I think so. And then the Laceros. Oh boy. Uh, this mess. <laughs> this, this, this pile. This pile of. Uh... Now here's the funny part. Yeah. Uh, they are opportunistic uh they don't have a pack level because it's just one it's just they're they're individuals they're individuals but hey there is they they're defensive with every with every tundra within four hexes of them Mm. hey there are some crabs within four hexes of them yeah but it's not on their right train yeah it's tundra no uh, you mean these guys yeah that this is the crab this the, is the, the frog. The, oh, that's a frog. A froggish. It's sort of a... Turtle frog. Turtle frog. All right, yeah. He's on their terrain. All right, so you think they would move? Or do you think, think they, you think they would eat first? Because they didn't eat last time. That is a good point. I mean, there's only food for four of the five, so maybe one of them will go over there. Opportunistic. This creature eats meat and the prey is injured alone or smaller. Well, they're smaller. They are. Uh, but they'll consume if there is food. Now, the rules were, if there is food and they haven't eaten in a while, they they'll eat. eat food. So. so those four will eat and one of them will go. Uh, oh, when he ate, he would actually heal up. Well, we could choose not him to eat. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> hey, you snooze, you lose, injured guy. He was injured. <laughs> and he's going to go over there and go, hey, I'm going to take care of this guy. Okay. Boy, you are so mean. I am. Mean to the injured one. That's all. That's all we got. Uh, uh, now, now we roll for... Spawn dice. No. Yes. Oh, hey, we get another one. I got a crab. He'll probably go on his own region, I suppose. Where's that? Yeah, adjacent oh, to us. Oh, this guy. Oh. 
You can go on the desert. Or I'm trying to look. So wh where did it come from? I'm not sure where it came from. That's what I'm trying to ask. A den three. Yeah. No, oh, he's not a den creature. He's not. He's going to go adjacent. So, yeah. yeah, he's going to go off in the desert. He likes desert. Yeah. Um, I've got a den creature. You have to choose. And I can't choose Can you choose, choose this it. one? We don't, don't have any so. of him, so probably not. Yeah, we don't. I uh, think we, uh, you know what? The Vomos are easy to kill, at least. Do they go into a den? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, they go next to us. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to reread. Den creature. Uh, no, place a matching creature token in the matching den landmark closest to an explorer. All right, so it would be this one here. Choose the fill den slot of your choice. It would, it would yeah. be that one. So the wandering creatures go adjacent to us when we spawn, and uh, the den creatures go into their den. And we get Hunger a Hunger and a loneliness. Uh, okay. We really need that blue cube. We've been looking for the blue cube forever. Right. We just had a bad mix of cards. With and that, you. you know, that happens sometimes. Yeah, dice weren't with our like, friends. With like any of the survival games, like Robinson Crusoe or any of those type. You could have some bad luck. You just sometimes, everything will work against you. So that you, you know, you can't remove, you know, tokens from, you know, the the, the little hidden tile tokens from on Robinson Crusoe. Right. You're trying to remove the, the little spirit clouds. <laughs> and then, you know, what can you do? What can you do? We get three actions is what we're going to do. Oh, uh, we're going to do three actions. All right. What to do? I think I want to work my way to the ruins and maybe get that artifact. Can't help you. I know you can't help me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. We should kind of move the map this way a little bit now. Because I feel like we're going that direction. No. I don't. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We still... It's still on camera. I know, Well, yeah. It's always going to be on camera until we're done. <laughs> we can't We can't push it this way? We can, but I, I think we're fine. Okay. Because I was thinking about if going exploring that way. Then go over there. You'll find that there's a line of animals ready to stop your progress. What? You can't go through the animals. I know. I was okay. going to explore that way. Oh, well then explore that way. All right. I accept. Next to you? Yeah, right there. How about... Um, uh, all right, roll it. It's really bad. It's really bad. It's an anomaly, though. We could get lucky. Ruins. Destroy for two resource cubes. Oh my god, thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hold on, I have to do the Picard maneuver. It really <laughs> works. I mean, it flattens it out just like that. It's really good. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Okay, two resources. Because we need. What do we need? <laughs> Songs with Cats loves the space map. Okay. By Ultra Pro. Actually, you can't even see the logo here. Says Ultra Pro Galaxy Series. I, I can't help you, but I'm gonna help you. No, not Wait. listening. La 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 la. All right, you go. You go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I can destroy two resource cubes down there. I mean, destroy the ruins and get two resource cubes. But I need to be at a blue. You know what? <laughs> we need to. Oh, we don't need to be at a blue to get that. I'm not supposed to talk, but it's the passive aggressive pawn <laughs> and ma magic maze. You don't know. <laughs> but if I go there, it's not going to help any. Oh, but I am the only one with a green. Oh. I'm the only one with a green. So I I'm going to go here. Yep. Uh. Yep. But if I, oh, but I have meat. Now we can talk. I have meat. Yeah, now we can talk. I can drop that here. Oh, true. You can pick it up. We can trade. Do you want, the, do you want this fuel? Sure. I don't know. I, I hate leaving the fuel behind. Oh, we're just putting it on the ground for a minute until we for build a it. For a minute. All right. All right. Okay. So, okay, so what we need, if you destroy that, and then you trade those things to me. Then I can pick them back then up. Then we can... 
No, we can. I can build it here. Oh, on your turn. On my turn. Okay. So I don't even really need to drop this. Right. The the two resource cubes we need to make are green and blue. And blue, yeah. Yeah, the and then ta-da. And we're socializing, by the way, so you can heal your heart. Woo! All like right, so social. my turn. Your turn. I get to destroy it. You and, did um, for two cubes. What would you like? How about a green? How about a green and a blue? Even that though I feel like great. we should do two blue just because. But and then I think you should trade them to me. Uh, sure. So that means I'm dropping these. Uh, you can do whatever you want and on then, your turn. And then I'm gonna pick them back up. And, and you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna drop. I'm gonna drop these, and I'm gonna just put them down. Well, they go on our. They go on hex, the. I suppose so that was my the turn. ground can hold an turn unlimited number. number of resources. <laughs> yeah, the ground. Right. <laughs> It says it in the rules. It's so good. All right. My second action. Oh, look. Hey, how the about the Xenobiology lab? Now, remember, you can't read me the no, missions. No, you need to go in the other room. I, uh, I'll just plug my ears. I uh, can't hear you. Hold I'll on a just... second. Go Hold on. I... I have to place the lab. Uh... I have to place the lab. And then I can actually pick that stuff back up. It goes right on top of the ruins, and the ruin says plus two on it. Yeah. Which is really good. So I'm going to pick these back up. I'm just going to go la 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 la. All right. She's going to la 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 quietly. No. No. They can hear you. You're closer to the microphone. I can't even say it. All right. I'll, I'll walk away for a minute. But I'm not going to hear. Incoming transmission. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Your crew has done excellent work following Federation Alliance protocol. Additional instructions pertaining to your base facilities will be issued. While optional... Please consider completing these contingencies before next cycle's performance reviews. Do not neglect finishing the outpost base. Without infrastructure, this facility will never be usable to future teams. We have unlocked the power grid controller, the analytics lab, and the perimeter shield. All right, that's the first one. Uh, oh, because you have another one to read, right? Yes, I do. Uh, I gotta... The one that says build the Xeno lab. So I am going to I am going to put out those three things. The power grid controller. I hear you say la 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 la. Oh wait, it's in these locked ones here. The power grid controller, the analytics lab, the perimeter shield. All of those sound really good. Alright, so No, I'm building the Xeno Lab. We have detailed construction. We've detected construction of a xenobiology lab. So they can detect construction, but they have not issued us any radios. How terrible is this? Thank you for your interest in alien flora and fauna. The Federation has extremely limited knowledge of extraterrestrial life forms. This is the perfect chance to answer the most pressing question in Federation society. What tastes better? Now that you can safely prepare local meat, please sample a selection of the wildlife and record your critical opinions. Okay, now I'm a taste tester. Can What's I come up back? with that? Yes, you can come back. All right, now tell me everything that happened. Oh wait, I have to tell them. I have to tell them what the next mission is. All right, all right. Uh, I actually have to tell you guys what the next mission is. So the next mission is to build the power grid controller, the analytics lab, and the perimeter shield. We also need to consume meat from a total of four different species. Describe the taste of each meat during your next socialized action. So, um, how about now? We, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can come back now. <laughs> what do I gotta do? It's terrible with her being paranoid. I'm so paranoid. Um, <coughs> we have to eat meat and build stuff. Oh. So we have some things unlocked. Okay. Yeah. We have to build things. What yeah. do we need to build? Blue? Well, I can't really show you. I can't. I'm not looking. I can't show you what but we you need. you can't tell me? We're in the same spot. Well, see, it's the, ah. the rules are sort of fuzzy on Prevents this. Prevents the reading and hearing of mission card text. What does card and acronym stand for? Oh, card is an acronym for... Uh, <laughs> Conceptual or actual reference designator. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. So, uh, that was my second action. That was your second action. Yeah, you're on your third action. Yeah. 
I might just move back and get. It's really fun. It's <laughs> the game looks awesome and it's really fun. Yeah. It. I don't know what to do. Sometimes it's brutal though. Like this game has been fairly brutal. We've had some big monsters. And, and we've had low scary. resources. Low, low, low resources. I kind of want to explore. Hey, I'm going to, before you explore, Okay. I'm not telling you what the missions are, but I'm going to say that we've unlocked these things here. Uh, the perimeter shield, all buildings gain three durability. That's nice, but it requires two minerals Everything and two blue. Everything needs two bioblast. We need to build this thing. We well, need be... more plants. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to move. But they're all going to come gang up on me and beat me up. Everybody. Analytics lab. Oh, no, these are passive. Any used artifacts. Oh, no, they're in a large group. Oh, no, they only have three. Okay. And then the power grid controller. When you use it, you convert one fuel into one bioplastic and one mineral. And it costs one bioplastic and one mineral. How do we get these cards gear? These gear cards now? Uh, I'm assuming they unlock... I think so. Ooh, we have domestication tools. We have an ex two exo displacers, two fear amplifiers, and two traps. So we can buy these? Is that what they We are? can construct them. Construct them. They become gear, and they go into your gear slot. Limit two. We have two hands. Well, I, I don't have any gear right now, so getting gear wouldn't be, like, the worst thing. Are they, are they all, like, two food? Uh, they all... They all sort of kind of need... Nope, they don't all need plants. Oh, Some of them are fun. blue. Some of them are need fuel. Mo most of them need plant, though. The exo displacer carry one additional resource cube. Okay, well... Yay! Yeah, it's not priority at this point. Our priority is finding resources. Our priority is surviving. Well, yeah, I'm about dead. So I probably shouldn't do anything drastic at this point. Um, yeah. But these guys aren't going to attack me because they, they are only overly aggressive in large packs, which is a five, and they're only a pack of three. So I will actually move back to the plant space. Moving back to the plants. Now, Where? The plant grove? Yeah, the plant grove. Gotcha. So if I eat this meat, it would cure all of my hunger? Yes. So I'll do that next turn, probably. All right, now you. Oh, yeah, it says unlock Xenobiology Lab Gear. That's nice. All right, this is my third action. Uh, those guys are not in their den. Are you sitting? On, you're at, no, you're not on their den. I'm not on their den. Where's their dens up here? They're, we have blocked them from their den. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> they're gonna be my my domesticated pets in a minute. Well, we're about to find out. Well, they're passive in small numbers. Yeah, but you're right next to their... So what? Maybe they'll go to the other deck. Oh, no. They're going to call and they're going to draw some out from the other side. No. Uh, looks like I found another More mineral. mineral. <laughs> Yay. That's exactly a what landmark. we need. We don't want... We, I needed that to be a blue tile. It's actually not exactly there. what we need. It's not. It was That was sarcasm. That was sarcasm. Times 100. I speak right. fluent sarcasm. Right. So now the and turtle, several other turtles languages. move. Turtles move. Oh, that was my third action. So, uh, frog turtles. Yeah. Uh, well, they don't move. Uh, they, yeah. Necessarily. They I don't are, think they do anything. They're pretty weak. They're passive. They're not at their den. No. Uh, creatures are adjacent to the den, but this group is at pack. Uh, they will run if threatened. Well, they might be threatened by those rats that are going to, like, jump on them. Maybe. Oh, no, because they weren't threatened last time because, uh, because the rats are in their own terrain. Uh, the rats? Yeah. Oh, those guys, yeah. But this guy's coming after them, so maybe they are threatened. These guys? Yeah. So maybe they'll just skitter over here? Yeah. Oh, no. These guys are at the den. They're at their home. They're at their home. So would they call for help? They're at pack level. No, they're not. They're five is pack oh, level. Oh, five is pack level. Yeah. Okay. Well, they each have to go. So these guys would call one, and these guys would call one to their pack, which is back behind them. Okay. Back behind you. Okay. 
So okay, they're never going to get to pack level because there's five of the six things and they pack up at five. Right. Or actually, I think it says four or more. Right. All right, the Vomos. This is the problem. What? Because the Vomos are going to call for more to come out. Yep. Uh, a couple of eats. Does that happen before they get called? Well, there's three critters there. Right. So, so one two, will call. One will call and two will eat. And what about the other one will move to the pack? So that then they're at pack limit. And that's really bad. Yeah, because four or more, they already start destroying buildings. Yeah, we're... Converts one building or landmark into Vomo, uh, into a Vomo den. Right. That's bad. Right. Um, Spicatis, the little scorpion mice. Right. Uh, we might just have to, like, just say, you know what? We submit to our our overlords and fail. Okay. <laughs> well, we, we, we might, but... Scorpion mice. Scorpion mice. They have this, like, stingray tail. and <laughs> Or get killed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Explore to locate resources. That's been the problem this time. Uh, especially since all the critters have come out. Right, right, right. Uh, kill critters to eat meat, but you can only eat meat if you have a xenobiology lab. So that's, okay. that's sort of different. Right. Um... Yeah. Yeah, sticky Vomo Den is terrible because they spit out Vomo goo yeah. and totally kill any building that you've made. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. We don't want to destroy our buildings because then we have. Before I before I was. It took us a while I to. I remember there's a thing where it's like if a building is destroyed or something, something bad happens. Right. Or we don't know what happens actually, but it's probably bad. Yeah, if one building is destroyed or three buildings have any damage, we get to reveal. This contingency And I remember mission. that before my paranoia. I don't know what our other missions are at the And you moment, know, you're not going to so know what happens when I don't know what we're really happens. doing. So <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? I've lost my mind. That's what happens when you're paranoid. All right, so we're, we're rats move or not. Uh, or not. I think they don't move. I think they just stay there. We decided there. last time that they didn't move. Right. Are there other rats on the board? There are. No, I don't see other rats. No other rats on the board. Okay. So this guy, nobody home. Nope. Domina, the, this guy. That guy and this guy. So Again, nobody's within two nobody's radius, within two. so he'll probably eat one. He'll probably just graze. Okay. Otherwise, he would he would actively move. Okay. Uh, the crabs, they're happy where they are because nobody is messing with them, and they're in their zone. Oh. Uh, and then we've got the laceros. Um Gorges on large creatures. So he's not. Wait, doing, this he, guy we didn't yeah, do. This to, guy we didn't do. Fight with I him. didn't do him. Yeah. Where does he go? Well, that's the question. He was working his way to the frogs. He's aggressive. His fight is possible. The fight is possible. Right. Um. Because he he was gonna. They'll run only if they're near death. That's mm. not happening yet. Mm. They'll no. scare if the other creature is aggressive or bigger. He knows he can kill these things. He knows. I don't know about the rats, though. Would he go to the rats? Uh, these guys are smaller. That's true. And the rats are pack, so that's So, sadly, scary. I think he would kill that that uh, yeah, crab creature, the back. turtle creature. Well, it's not sad. We, it's not sad. We want them to die. <laughs> Wait, we want more than just the crabs to die, though. It's we not a the, crab. It's a frog. The, it's an easy frog, but... Yeah. So yeah, we want it, We want more than just a little stuff to die. We decided that these guys were okay. Those guys are okay. Are these guys just staying, or would they start moving? No, they're going to start moving. I think. So they would all just go like. Um, because nobody is around. Right. And these guys are in what they consider to be their territory. Right. So I think that they're all going to independently move towards there. Yep. Uh, sure. We'll do that. You'll buy it, sure. I'll buy it. Maybe they're all kill the animals. Okay. Well, that could happen. All right. That's that. All right. We have to roll a spawning. Spawn dice. Oh, no. Another den creature? Are you kidding me? Any of the wandering. Should we put out this little flying scorpion again? Sure. Uh, it has to go next to us, whatever it is. Does he want to go where the turtle is? Uh, where's where, the turtle? We already have turtle there. 
Uh, well, I've got to. Yeah, I've got to put. Or one, we put them on the other side. I've got to put one next to me. I've got to put a den creature next to me. Well, you could put. The, you, you chose a wandering. What did you What did you put? I put the little flying. Oh, you put the flying. Flying dude. All right, I guess I'm gonna take fight. It. We could put we could put them over here. Songs with cats is saying is calling for fight, fight, fight. Fight. I'm putting him so, in the den. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. Why? <laughs> we don't want to go that way. It'll be a critter fight. We want a critter fight. Is yeah, the thing. we we don't want to be in the fight. <laughs> we want them to we do want the fight. We want them to fight. We want them to do the fighting. All right. We get lonely. Well, did you put a den guy out? I did. Where? Didn't I put out one? I don't know. I put, no, I didn't. I did that. You did that. All right. Turtle. Turtle and the turtle. A den. Turtle on the sea. He likes. <laughs> uh, he likes his. He, he likes yeah. his team. Yeah, he probably would want. To do he that. likes his team. He likes his yeah, den. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's it's really bad. We're, we're looking. All right, I'm, rough I'm right lonely now. and hungry. <laughs> Did you go lonely and hungry? Uh, yes. All right. Your turn. Oh. I was gonna. All right. I'll. Oh, I need to eat for a minute. I'm gonna explore that empty spot down here. Right there. Empty spot. Yeah. And hey, now we get blues. Good. We need. We still need blue. We still need blue. As far as I'm concerned, we still need blue. Go for it. Another den. How about a blue cube? It's a blue cube. Oh my Miracles goodness! Miracles happen. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna yes. go maybe the crash site next. Well, I can't talk to you about it, but I'm gonna leave. I don't there. know what she's saying. She, actually, I, I see her lips moving, but actually, I don't know what she's saying. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat with this meat. That. That's nice. If only I knew you were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but okay you're so far away i can't hear you all right and then i'm gonna pick up that blue cube yes Whoa. oh my goodness i scattered all of her stuff all right and then what that's... And then oh done. no that was you i moved you what are you doing oh all right well so... i probably would i would i would have explored there instead so move yeah like Boom. that and i'll move just as have far to... as you want in a straight line Right. All right. Yeah. Done. Yep. All right. My number one. I guess I'm going to. Let's see. What are you going to create? Uh, this is this is a question. Ah. Uh, no, I have to. I have to. Oh. I have to go kill the Vomos. All right, kill them. Uh, and I'm going to remove all of my hunger because... So, I have this meat, but I don't know where it came from. Right. So, is that a problem? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Why? I can't tell her. I can't tell her what it is. I told oh. you guys, I can't tell her what it is. Oh. It's your turn. That's so, like suspicious i'm not we're not there. all right i'm gonna explore the next space over you'll figure it out i'm sure you're I will. smart more blue hey now all the blues are blue tiles are coming it's an anomaly though maybe it's good it's a phenomena. it's a phenomena. phenomena. <laughs> destroyed for two resource cubes and gives two durability wow i guess i I'll, I'll, I'll come back there in a minute. Okay. So that was my second action. That was your second action. My second action is to move to this Vomo horde. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Were they really a big threat to you or something? Uh, there's When there's four of them, they are going to convert a building yeah, into really... a Vomo den. All right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I probably should have done that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. I can't tell her. <laughs> I can't talk to her. No radios. No radios. I should have done that. I don't know. I can it. <laughs> Hello. 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 Coming in. Coming in. Federation is too cheap to make this work. <laughs> I tap the communicator. Nothing happens. <laughs> All right, you. Computer. No, me. 
computer. I'm going to move. I got nothing. Oh, but then he's going to beat me up if I move in his radius. No, he will be your pet. <laughs> I'm going to so die. I'm gonna let die. him be your, let him try it. It's a stream. This is what you do on a but live stream. But if I stream. die, we're going to be done, done. Yeah, but they get to see it. But and then they, I get to and die. And they get to, they get to I revel. I want to try not to die. It says it in the rules. <laughs> I can't tell her what to do. I know. I need to be quiet. I know. I know. <laughs> what are these? What is, what is this? That oh, is, that's where that's they, that, that watering that's hole that where, watering where hole. four extra critters came out. I don't. All right, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this ruin <laughs> right there and put cubes. computer. Computer. I'm, u- I'm using the keyboard. All right, I'm gonna computer. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this. What? <laughs> I'm laughing. It's me. It's me and the people in the chat. We're having a moment here. Oh. We're we're having we're. I'm we're doing. Bo- we're bonding. I'm gonna do the ruins. You're gonna do the ruins. Yes. Do the ruins. What two cubes would you like? Well, should I try and do one of these? I. I cannot help her. <laughs> she hasn't gotten this yet. We've been playing this for a while now. She hasn't gotten this yet. Recovery and use that. <laughs> Convert one fuel. No, I don't like. These. No, but it means we lose. As a, we need both people to. I don't know. If one person dies, we lose. I'm gonna do what I think is right, <laughs> which is gonna be totally wrong, and I'm gonna get two green cubes. Two green cubes on the space. On the space. And then I'm done. Here. Yes, please. Okay. You did it. I did. Good All luck. Right. Is that your last one? Um. I'm a smack of Vomo. Smack em. I'm a smack of Vomo. Yeah. All right, that is a Vomo cube. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see if that works. That makes me a little hungry. Mm. And I'm going to pick this cube up. Oh, do I eat it? No, I'm going to save it. I know where it's from, though. I know it's a Vomo cube. I know it's a Vomo cube. It's a cube. Vomo cube. I'll remember. All right, so now monsters move. Now monsters move. Starting with... Frogs. The turtles. Frog Tur- turtles. Frog turtles. All right, that frog turtle has a bad thing in its area. <laughs> uh, and they are passive. If they're at their den and the other creature's hostile, yes, check on both, then they will scare the big creature. The big creature gets scared away. Uh, where does he go? He'll probably move to his friend's. Towards the, his other terrain type. Where's his terrain? Swamp? That's the... Yeah. So he goes here. Oh, he bumped into a pack of bad his, guys. His friends. Where's his friends? They're all the same. Oh, those are all the same. Yeah, he's going to go back to his, his guys. Right. So, he's scared and goes over there. Then we have the other turtles, which are way down there. Uh, there's nobody at their den. So there's a... And there's another one over here. Right. So uh, they group up at five. So he's going to go here and they're going to go here and try to group up together and be a big, happy turtle family. Turtle family. All right. Then we got the Vomos. There are four of them. Where? Oh, in the The middle. The Vomos? Middle of the board. So they have a special that they can do. They are defensive. They'll do the special... uh, if the creature's den or the pack benefits, they're going to convert a building or a landmark and do a Vomo den. What do we have that's nearby? But Oh, yeah, just four more. Oh, no, they're at a den. So I think that they need to, they would actively try to get to. A building? A building so that they can claim it. Hmm. It doesn't say how far away it is to be. I think. Oh yes, yes. If you were wearing a red shirt, that would be it. I would be red dead. Shirts, red shirts. I actually suck. know that reference. <laughs> it's like Captain America. I got that reference. I know that reference. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, I think that they might head towards one of those things. So it all it could also it could be a landmark, but it could be a building. Okay. Uh, this is a resource landmark. All this right. is a building. Right. So that's the question. Which way would it Maybe go? Maybe we get to pick. Oh, uh, and there's a third one down here. Let's go to the I orb. Think, the orb. Spot. I think we should roll. Oh, we can roll the where they go. We should roll the die. The direction die. This is the first time we've had to roll this. Okay. So uh, that way, but that there's nothing there. Uh, that way. There's, there's the, both ways. Both there's nothing ways there. Both ways you rolled. Um, same thing. Nothing. Same thing. Same thing. Nothing. You keep rolling the three the sides. The three sides. Same thing, nothing. The three sides that there's nothing there. Hey, that's one. That's one, and it's our building. Well, that's our. Right. Well, if we don't kill it, it's going to vomo goo our den. Yep. All right. The rats, we decide the rats just stay where they are. They're happy. Uh, I think the rats, uh, where are the rats? These guys, yeah, they're happy in their den. Because there's nothing in a radius there's nothing of in one these, in yeah. these two hexes. Right, that they like. They so. like these two hexes. Right. And we do have the flying um We do have the flying flying scorpion. Yes. He is in the den over there. Yep. Where does he what does he do? He is He likes to be in forest and water, which he's currently in the forest. He's opportunistic. Uh he's not gonna go with the big batch. Uh he would scare if the other creature is bigger and alone. This guy's bigger and alone, so he could go over here and go, hey. But, but the, he's leaving his territory he to is do leaving that. His, would, we, oh, would he really do that? No, I don't think would so. Would he maybe like go to the pack of frogs? I don't know. Uh, He likes how far away? Five. Five away? Is that, I mean, that's, oh, they, yeah. they fly. They just go like, whoo, <laughs> yes. over the moon. Well, the question is, how far? Where is their closest thing that, well, I mean, there's a pack of frogs there, but he only, he only moves one creature. He only scares one thing. Right. So he wouldn't scare the entire pack. No, because he's opportunistic and not crazy. So he'll probably just stay where he is. I think he might want to do something. I don't think he can. I, there's nothing much he on the board. No, there's nothing right now. much. Oh, uh, the Dominosaurus down there, he's going to eat that last little bit of meat. Because <laughs> there's no animals anywhere in this range. And then I think he might just start roaming around after that. The uh, crabs like it in the desert. Nothing is messing with them yet. The Laceros have this guy in the... Uh, no, no, all of these are good to go. He won't go back, but the other ones will go in. Yeah, sure. So two of them go in. And smack these uh, turtles around. So this is all prime turtle meat right here. So the other ones would go which eat? Which might be important for some reasons that I can't tell Steph. Why? I can't say. Come on. I hate <laughs> secrets. I'm paranoid here. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Are they going to go the other two? eat? Uh, the other two. Uh, I mean, they don't like anything. They don't. They don't like things in their gray. Right. So wouldn't they go and take eat? Eat the There's meat? There's nothing in those gray. No, right here. Oh, yeah. These guys can go over and eat the meat. And you know what? This one actually could as well. And then he heals himself because he I ate? I believe I remember reading in the rules. I will check that out. While you All move right. the Lacera. Well, no. We just that's moved it. the Laceros. So while so you spawn things. That's terrible. Oh, that's a... A den? Oh, no. That's treated as an asterisk. Den so, frog. two den asterisk. All right, like that. Well, we don't want more Vomos, so I'm just going to put all the frogs every which way. Uh, creature. It goes to the Consume, closest. eat one plant or meat. Remove one damage. Yep. Yep, all right. And plants can be consumed directly from plant groves or plant farms, so they just, like, graze. Yeah, both explorers must both return to the repaired ship. It's it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Return so that the they actually ship. say, okay, you have to like you know uh, fix the crashed ship, and it's they actually say with a straight face, good luck on finding those resources. <laughs> <laughs> True.
Thanks, Federation. All right, so we both rolled the same. We get a heart. A, a loneliness and a hunger. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so my first action <clears throat> is going to be to move here. All the way to the crash site. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I don't really have anything around me. Oh, you know what? I could go. Well, no, because we got we got we got these guys. I got to deal with. I hate hitting these vomos. It it takes one action to move there, though. Uh, yeah. Well, shoot. Yeah. I gotta be. I gotta be. You gotta be in and out. I gotta be in and out. Because <laughs> you got a lot of dudes over here. Though. I gotta be in and out. That's looking, bad. Looking hungry. You. It's gonna be great. It's gonna okay. be fine. I'm gonna cure the crash site. You are going to fix the crash site. A fuel and a plastic. mineral and bioplastic. All right, and we're gonna like get off the planet and not <laughs> finish our mission. What's it say? It says, free, return home, requires two explorers. Passive, fail if destroyed. Whoops. Why? It's not going to be destroyed. It's fine. It'll be, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because the Federation cares. It's fine. It'll be, it'll, it'll be fine. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Page eight in the care manual. Yeah, both explorers must both return to the repaired ship. Is that what? Is that what's on page eight? I mean, that's what it says on the repair yeah. ship card itself that I just flipped over. We'll be, hey, we'll be fine. the ship is repaired. I feel like I did something this like something successful this game. It'll be fine. All right, you. Me. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, was your second action? Yeah, I'm gonna punch a Vomo in the face and take the meat. That will make me hungry. Yes. Which, it's fine for now. It's fine. I'm going to run away in a minute. I'm going to run away. Run away! Where are you going? Back there. Ah. Because now I, I can get, I can do what I want to do. That's a good place, because I'm going to go here. Oh, go good. Explore. How about some more green? Oh, I'm okay. Well. No. No! No, no. We rolled a wandering monster. It's the big dude. It's I wish we didn't have any more of them. Uh, oh, boy. Screwed. Yeah, this is what we call not good. Yeah. He's opportunistic and bigger than me. I can just about guess what's going to happen. <laughs> You're going to probably get injured. Uh, but probably. If you can tame him, it would be Oh, great. that would be so good. <laughs> and then we can ride him. Then we can ride him. <laughs> I'm so hopeful for this happening. <laughs> All right, that's and he'll us. He'll be my pumpkin. Now we're gonna figure out what's gonna happen. Now we're gonna figure out what happened. That was my third action. So yes, creatures move. All right, frogs. starting with the frogs. All the frogs are like over there, and their dens and, and all the, the frogs. All but of wait, them. But wait, we need five of them to like link up. So there's five of them. Uh, do you think this guy will knock him out? Probably so. Probably. He's in the den. He's being... Oh, no. He's passive. He's not going to fight. By himself, no. But if you move all the other ones to the den... I did move all of them to the den to, enough for the pack. Oh. Um, only if they're at their den and the other creature is hostile, they'll scare. If, they're, if they are attacked and they can't run, they will fight. Mm. So... Uh, I think this guy might just run. He probably will scare, yeah. Uh, oh, he, he could he, scare. Is the other creature hostile? The other creature's opportunistic, so it's sort of lurking around. I think he would just scare him out. Oh, boy. That will trigger something later. We'll see. Vomos. Vomos. Uh, there's only three of them. Okay. And they're opportunistic. I think we just saved it, uh, us from getting from getting a building turned to Vomogu. That was good. Uh, we don't want to become Vomogu. The other creature is bigger but alone. 
Hmm. Uh, the, yeah, these guys right there, here. There is. There is. He's bigger but alone. Right. So, they can all go and eat this thing. Or attack him. Leaving three meat. That's wow. crab meat. Tasty crab meat right there. <laughs> I might need that. For some reason that I for can't For some tell reason. Stuff. You need some food. Yes. So, uh, they have jumped on him. Those are the Vomos, right? Yes, those are the Vomos. Is that all the Vomos? Yep. All right. We got the rats. The, the rats are happy. We like that. Yeah. The uh, the flying thing? He's, he's attacking the crab, maybe? He is opportunistic. The other one's bigger but alone, so he will scare. Hmm. Yeah, then he'll just run to the he'll other. He'll run to the other spot. Yeah, that's here. what will happen. Yeah, because he's not going with the uh, Vomos. He he saw no, what happened to exactly. his buddy. This dude. He's going to start walking, I Yeah, think. I think he's going to have to start walking. I so, yeah, just move him, move him up this way. Diagonal up. Yeah. All right, what else we got? We got the, uh, crabs. the crabs that do damage. They're by themselves. Uh... The, we have two on the board by themselves. Oh, he's by himself, and where's the other one? Right. Oh, I don't know. Did he? Oh, he died. You're putting no, the dead ones died. over there. Yeah, I'm putting the, just for a minute. Just for a minute. And all we have left is those uh, Laceros. There are five of them. Lacerda? <laughs> Lacerda. <laughs> Hope they're not Lacerdas. <laughs> Lacerda's really scary. This, yeah, these guys are. Because now we have one by you, so you have, to, you have to deal with them. Oh, uh, They actually might go oh, here where so there's meat. Bad. Oh, there is meat there. Okay, so these guys are definitely opportunistic. Yes. They will consume if there's food, not if the hex is unoccupied, just if there's food. Uh, the other creatures there are smaller. Um, if this creature eats meat and the prey is injured alone or smaller i think of five of them they're going to kill three and eat two meat uh yeah so there will actually be three more meat dropped so we and have two meat are gone three things killed two meat from the crab in, uh, eaten. So we have some crab meat and some vomo meat. Well, if it matters, you could choose the order in which they fight and eat. I could. I think I like the crab meat being there. Okay. I don't know how that matters, but if it matters. Oh, I, because I have vomo meat in my in my pack. Yeah. That is a bloodbath. So good. It was a bloodbath. And now we bloodbath on your face over here. Well, that might be a problem. Um, this guy is opportunistic. The creature eats meat and the prey is injured. No. Would Alone, he... yes. Or smaller. Yes. Also, yes. But would he scare you first? Two out of three ain't bad. This guy is opportunistic. If I were bigger and alone, he would scare. Hey, guess what? I'm not bigger. But would, does he scare you is what I'm asking. What do you mean? Do you get to run away? I don't get to do jack nor squat. Okay, so you might get injured then. I am going to take a damage. Uh -oh. Well, no, I'm going to roll a you, damage you might, die. You might die. You should have eaten. Why would I die? Because don't we become lonely and hungry at the end of the turn? That's okay. This isn't going to make me hungry. It, there's a hunger sign on it. Oh, crap. <laughs> you should have eaten. I should have eaten. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, my God. We're going to die. You should have. You know what? If you were in my space, you could have told me. Well, you should have moved to my space. Computer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Make him work. your friend. Make him your friend. Uh. No. It's, well, it's, not, it's not a hunger. All right. It's not a hunger. So we're not instant death. We're just almost instant death. Injury report. Yeah. I have a collapsed stomach. No! <laughs> this is the best. Collapsed stomach. Hunger capacity. Is now four. Reduced by one. No. That's going to be it, guys. Mission one failure. That was really bad. It was really bad. Are you and then me right we now? get lonely. And hungry. Look at this. 
reduced hunger by one. I thought you were going to make it. I was going to make it. Any in- Except. Any other injury card. They hit me in the stomach. Oh, and no. that was all it took. Exactly. <laughs> that was all it took. Because at the end of the round, we have to do... Now I need a red shirt. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> definitely... Uh, uh, I'm uh, to cause, Yeah, because right now we take a hunger and a... I almost was lonely. I would have... I would have... Well, we're right next to... We, 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 we are right next to each other. Eventually, I'm going to make a prediction. You're going to get lonely. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're dead... Yeah, I'm dead. We oh, we man. tried. We gave it our all. So he he goes to capacity of his hunger, and you had oh, all this war of You had is, all these oh, hunger cues. You had all this meat on you. I, I did. You should have just eaten. I should have. Can you eat at any time, or does it have no. to be on your on turn? your turn as a free action? Uh, yeah, this war of mine is brutal. I'm trying to get her to play it. Oh, she it, hadn't played it yet. It'll get played. But you you have to be in the right mindset right. at the time. To be able to handle such devastation. I mean, it can get really bleak. Mission one was hard. Mission one was hard. So let's let's go over things a little bit. Because I was a little lost in what we were trying to actually do at this point. Because I couldn't hear the missions. I no. don't know what was going on. At this point... I was going to build this to get at least the bioplast refinery on my space. So that we could start generating blue cubes. We need to build all three of these. What? We yes. had to build all of them? Yes. I thought unlocking them might be enough to let her know that that's what the mission is. No, I, I she think, didn't know. I, I thought we would have to do like one of them. But I'm like, we need to be able to get blue. So I wanted to build a <laughs> bioplastic refinery so we could start making the blue. Because that was the hardest thing. We couldn't find blue resources right. anyway. Yeah, the right mindset is like uh, a time that you don't want to get utter. You, you can handle getting depressed that night. Or uh, you're not being overly emotional or something, and it's just the right time to be able to handle something that bleak and dark. Is... Yeah, but we're talking about this. Okay, I'll, I'm answering questions. I know, but I'm talking... this is for far away now. This is our video for far away. We'll talk about the other one after. Well, I'm just that, okay. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get back to you. We're, we're, not, we're not done with this one yet. We're, I mean, we are, but I want to talk about it because I still don't know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, that 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 was our next mission goal, and that's all we know. Yes. Now, on the xenobiology lab, if if we were to consume meat from a total of four different species, we get to describe the taste of each meat during our next socialize action. Yeah, I get to eat the crab meat. Look at it; she's wrinkling up her face. Gross. See, I was. I knew I had to go beat up a bunch of animals and get their meat. So I was going to take care of all that while you built everything. And I was going to come back and describe how good the crab meat was. <laughs> it was going to be so good. And I didn't need your paranoid help. Oh, my God. But no, it didn't we work out like that. We got some unfortunate monsters. I mean, two fours, a three... In our, all in of our them intro, eating meat. All of them eating meat. Yeah. In our intro game, it was a lot of wands and plants. And Plant eatings and things. and before, yeah. Yeah. Man, that was really hard. And we, we only did two out of five mission cards. Yeah. But we did save the ship. I take that. We saved the that. ship. <laughs> we couldn't build the buildings fast enough because of a lack of resources. But I think a lot of that is luck of the draw. You know, sometimes you'll get... We got a lot of anomalies that brought out dens. And when you get those anomalies, you know, what do you do? Right. We got kind of unfortunate with all those dens. Right. Because there's tons of cards here. I mean, I don't think this game suffers from oh too my God, much there's, randomness. There's so many dens, so... Perhaps. There are strategic decisions to be made, and the, that's what makes it fun. There were still seven dens out of 14 cards, so we could have saw a lot more dens. Right. Now, when you're playing with three players, you can have the third player take control of the monsters and sort of plan. That third player can be watch, uh, looking at everything that those monsters plan to do. Now, the monsters are not against the explorers. Right. The monsters are against anything in, in the their environment based on what their behavior is supposed to be. Right. So. And we set the tone of their behavior. Right, exactly. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to not be too easy because if it is too easy, then. You know, if you can beat it with no problem, it's not much of a game. That's 
I love games that that have ways to increase or decrease the difficulty level. This one doesn't have that, but I mean, you're this seems to be at the missions. right level of difficulty. Right, and you're you working know. through missions, so maybe mission one is not as hard as mission eight, which I think there's eight missions in this right. box, so who knows what's to come. I don't... Yeah, I mean, it could... It could get bad. Who knows? We're going to need to do a lot of things. And depending on the way the tiles come out, you don't really know what's going to happen. Right, exactly. Which I like. So, yeah. I mean, at least games that are that are that that err on the side of being too difficult, I think it's probably better than a game that errs on the side of being too easy. You want to finally get that challenge because when you finally win, it'll be like, oh, yes! Oh, yes! And if, it turns out that we played the tutorial wrong because we didn't have the Xenolab or whatever it was. And we were eating meat to cure We were our eating hunger. meat because we had forgotten we needed the Xenolab. So because we, we didn't even have the we Xenolab. We might not have won the tutorial. <laughs> That's all right. It was fun, though. It was fun. <laughs> so I highly recommend this. We just guys... lost right now wicked badly. Yeah. I blame, was... I blame you and your stomach. You had food. You should have eaten. I blame you and your paranoia. Yeah. You were about to build something else. Yeah, I was going to... We needed blue resources. There were no blue there resources. There were no... I blame, the, I blame the world. The world was not on the our side. The world killed us. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this game. If you can find yeah. it. Uh, it was great. It was fun. You know, check out the Kickstarter, and the Kickstarter might actually say How where you can it. purchase it. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Uh, that's... Uh, Cher- cherry-picked cherry games. Cherry-picked games. So two player cooperative. So I think you can play a third person yeah. who will work as the animals. They'll work as the I animals. Think. Yeah. So But I, I, I yeah, it's probably best at two player. Yep. I could oh I could I could see having a third player that sort of, you know what we might be able to I do. I wanna see what sometime. the other mission cards are. Yeah, thank you. Cherrypickgames.com. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. But if I show you what the mission cards are it's going to spoiler you. For the next game, but I know, but I want to know. And they might want to know. I can't help I guess you. we'll just have to do another live stream. <laughs> Maybe do better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cherrypickgames.com uh, slash far away. Slash so, yeah. far away. Yeah, slash far away. Um, Steph initially was not a co-op player. She, That's just true. Um, so, yeah, like before you moved down here, I think... Uh, your game groups were heavily Euro based. Yeah, I still uh, love Euro games. And st- I, I mean, oh yeah, love Euro games. I love still all love types it. of games. But, but we play a lot of co ops. The now. groups that you were with when they played co ops, they didn't really. I don't think it. I don't think it's the. It's a great group of gamers up there, but I don't think they like co ops. And I think you have to have the right groups to play co ops. So and my uh, my friend James uh, also he's uh, Reggae R E G A I on Board Game Geek. James Perry. Uh, he was one of the, the uh, he was the lead play tester for Warehouse 13, the board game. Helped us out a lot with that. Uh, he didn't like co-op games either. and It takes the right group. I and... think that, that our group has basically turned around a lot of people who just didn't like co-op games. Yeah. So, it's, just, it's all about who you play with. It's all about and, who you play with. You know, working together to, and make, now you've done to what? get it done. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I love Pathfinder. Uh, Pandemic. Uh, Legacy. Did, yeah, we played the Legacy games this year. That was Eons End Legacy. Oh, love, love it, all of this. Yeah. Love all of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, Gloomhaven and We've Gloomhaven. Been doing the Jaws new, of the Lion. Jaws of the Lion. Which right. Has been fun. What other co-ops have we done? Uh, obviously, we've Escape been Games. We've we done a lot of we Escape Games. We do a games. lot. I don't know. Um, a lot of them though. Es- uh, es- escape, Exit, Unlock, uh, all of those. Uh, escape Tales. I think yeah. Escape Tales has been, was really good. Sco- the Scooby. Oh, Scooby, uh, Scooby Escape Room is Scooby-Doo. really good. But a lot of these co-op games, I mean, you just have to be in the right mindset for. Yeah. Um, and this War of Mine, I'm hoping to uh, yeah, pop that, out at some point. That will probably show up sometime. But Hope so. Yeah, no, this was really great. I'm glad we could play it. Um, and play it on the live stream, so thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Um, and I'll write my, write up my review for Wednesday, and I'll post the video there in case you missed the beginning or something. And, and subscribe to, to make sure that, yeah. uh, you know, hit that subscribe or button. Follow. Oh, I, follow. I follow? What the, is it? I don't have the subscribe yet. I'm not, like, cool enough on oh, Twitch yet. Oh, that's right. You have to be, you have to have so many followers in order to become a Twitch affiliate or a partner or whatever the heck it's it like is. It's like affiliate and partner. I, I, I'm learning all about Twitch. This is a new territory for me. But, Legends um, DM says hello, Steph. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> so 
So yeah, make sure to click that follow button, and uh, then that way you can get notified every time that we go uh, live because we kind of go spontaneous. Yeah, except for Wednesday nights. Wednesday night Wednesday is like night an will always be thing. That's going to be Titanic uh, coming week. up this week. Yes. Yes. Not cooperative, which I originally thought it was, but yep. we're it is not cooperative. We're each trying to to get save off the ship. passengers for glory. Well, not except, always. What if you're Cal? <laughs> if you're Cal, no. you want to throw people off the boat. You want to throw. <laughs> More lifeboats for me. Yeah. Uh, I might actually be Cal. That sounds <laughs> I, really fun. It does sound fun. <laughs> and I'm always the traitor. You are. I'm this, always the traitor. This is true. Uh, yeah. Yep. So we <laughs> hope you enjoyed Far Away. Yes. And we'll be back with more. Because now I'm doing Twitch. I'm like, okay, let's just play this online. And I think we'll actually be back later tonight with um, the new Race for the Galaxy. Not No, not Race for the Galaxy. It's... Um, oh yeah, Arkham tiny, Horror is great. Yeah, tiny epic galaxies blast off, which was announced. Oh, when are we? When is that happening? We're gonna do it tonight. We're gonna do it tonight. Yeah, because we have the space mat out. It's a space theme kind of day. Oh, so we might as well do it. So yeah. Okay. So we'll be back in a little while with that. Um, after we clean up this craziness. <laughs> craziness. All right. But uh, yeah, thank you all for joining, and stay tuned for more in a little bit. Oh, you know what? We should have. Go back to the host screen. Oh, people. yeah. We should have talked to the host screen. Oh, this is all a learning experience. What are we going to do? Well, I mean, we were showing the board and everything. So, <laughs> anyway. We'll be yeah. back later. See we'll you guys. We'll be back. Bye. Bye. Computer. Computer. <laughs> Up higher. <laughs>